All right, Cornhole fans, welcome to Triadelphia, West Virginia, ACL Open number 16. We're here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. Mike Morton here, joined by Allison Baldwin. This is the last Open of the year. Can you believe it, Allison? This year has flown by, Mike. I can't. I really can't believe that it's almost time for Worlds. I, it's unbelievable. Just in a couple weeks, we will be in Rock Hill again. I feel like it was just maybe a couple months ago we, we were there for the World Championships last year. <laughs> I know. It feels like just yesterday. Looks like they are getting ready to start this game. All right. So we have some open doubles. Tier one action Tier going on. Tier one action here. We're split into two brackets. I'm not sure if this is a bracket one game or a bracket or a bracket A or B game. I think this is an A game. Let's check it out. Yep, this is a bracket A. All right. So there was a lot of buys. There was, uh, I believe, 72 teams that made it into Tier one. 36 into an A bracket. 36 into a B bracket. So because of that, there was a lot of buys in round one. So. This is a technically a third round game, but it's the second game for each of these teams. Austin and Frank taking down Philip Hayden and Damon Dennis their first game. I saw that. Big time. That was a slow game. <laughs> so speaking of Frank and Austin, they are off to a two to nothing lead here. So while we're early on here, let's go ahead and make sure we throw some some thank yous out. Appreciate uh, the support of All Cornhole this year for allowing us to broadcast these matches. Coming into your home or your mobile phone or your car, wherever you're watching or listening at, we appreciate that. On the big screen in your living room. Yeah. <laughs> as well as AAR Cornhole, the home of AAR Apparel and Design. Very much appreciated there. And Dirty Bags Cornhole. Tie ball game early here. I know. We, I moved the, the the score tower, so I'm looking for it over here, and <laughs> it has been moved. But we may have resolved the rocking <laughs> truss issue by moving that. That was a good idea. I hope so. I like that block there. I think Frank can maybe hit the airmail drag. Or he could roll it. <laughs> roll it. Roll it. Uh, roll that game changer. Yeah, let's see that. That would be more interesting than the airmail drag, I think. <laughs> let's see what he decides to do. He's, he's going sticky side. He tried <laughs> it. I didn't think that he was going to try that. I've seen him pull it off quite a few times, but he does, doesn't does get it to go over the stack this time. It'll cost him a couple to Caleb Batson, and now the duo of Batson and Coy now lead 4-2 to two over Modlin and Schlobaum. So we're going to bring you a lot of cornhole action over the rest of this weekend here. We had a great time yesterday calling a few matches here at the pro shootout with Bernie Neighbors. We each took turns sitting in with him. I love Bernie. I won't say I love Bernie, but <laughs> I enjoyed calling matches with Bernie. How about that? Oh, just say it, Mike. You love Bernie. Who doesn't love Bernie? All right. Bernie? I love Bernie. <laughs> Man, we got ourselves a nice little crowd here for this first match already. I love it. There's lots of good games going on everywhere. So, yeah, to have a crowd, we're doing something. Well, we aren't doing anything. But, <laughs> That's right. But these guys that are playing The here. action on the board sir, <laughs> is compelling. Tie ball game here. They're playing 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Has everybody on the board scored a 2? I don't know who has scored what. I was... Checking my phone, yeah. making sure we're live where we're supposed to be and yeah, everything's working we're, properly. We're, we're early in our broadcast, so we're always doing those double checks. I feel like it may have happened that everyone on the board has scored a two. Could be wrong. I think that everything has gone smoothly so far, and that scares me. And why did you say that out loud? <laughs> 
No, things are going smoothly, and they're going to continue to go smoothly. I sure hope so. Because Oh, past, a little too much speed there from Caleb. The past couple of uh, tournaments, they've been, you know, a little challenging, to say the least. Well, just the starts. Just, just the, the starts. starts. All right, so the score stays 4-4. We have our first wash. Jake, Brandon, you leave me alone, my friend. You stop it. Jake in the comments. All right, so it's after 6 p.m., right? It is. 6.02. So we've officially crossed our – we are supposed to start broadcasting at 6. So I'm going to throw this out there. We're going to be giving away some bags and potentially some boards this weekend. So please make sure you, you listen up and make sure you like and subscribe our feed. We want everyone to know about this wonderful cornhole action going on in West Virginia today. Like and share. And in just a moment, I'm going to give you the instructions on the first contest and how you can win a set of all cornhole bags. We gave away quite a few sets last weekend. We did. At the Beast of the East in Chesapeake, Virginia. That bag is working its way back. Oh, I think this next bag it goes. Unless you pin it up. Wow, look at that. He snuck right in there. Frank cleaning it up. What, what's that called, Mike? <laughs> what are we calling that today? That's going to be an AAR, you kidding me, double four bagger, right? Oh, all right. I, you hey, remember those? I remember those. I just know they're called different things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know what page we were on today. There we go. There's something to talk about. A block bag. They were just stacking them in the hole. Ooh, it works. Austin kicks a little left. Actually, looking at our uh, at our screen here, I was just reminded this is an open, so we're going to call this a Bet MGM Casino double four bagger. How See, about that? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Just when you get your brain trained to go in one direction. I was like, tricking Allison. She didn't think I was flipping the cameras because my thumb was on a different button than she's used to. No one had screamed yet in the comments, though, so I should have known. <laughs> All right, here's your first contest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one set of four cornhole bags of your choice from the All Cornhole website. Here's all you got to do. Like and share. Got to like and share to be eligible. And then I want you to use hashtag ACL Open 16. And the last name of the person that you think is going to have the highest PPR this game. How about that? Oh. And if you're not sure about the spelling, it's on the screen, okay? What if they just go look at their PPRs right now? Oh, that's not, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we're going to make it easier. We're going to make it easier. Just tell me who you think is going to win. That's it. When are we cutting it off, Mike? We're going to cut it off when someone gets to 15. Oh. ACL open 16. And who you think is going to win? And I did miss a screen, a camera switch while I was trying to, to figure that out. <laughs> so much for everything going smooth, Mike. One, <laughs> that's just the first of at least three this weekend. Frank going up. Ooh, puts in KB's bag and goes off the back.
In for three right here. And he's going to take it. 12-6. KB and Miranda in the lead. All right, so to win those bags, again, ACL Open 16, hashtag ACL Open 16, and then put uh, the name of the team that you think is going to win to be eligible. We'll randomly pick someone who picks the right team. Make sure you're liking and sharing the feed so that you are eligible. Right on. And we will continue to give some bags away. Ooh. This is just the start. Awesome. We won't give them away every match, but we'll be giving, giving away quite a few sets. So make sure you like and share and stay tuned. Austin going to pick up two there. Eight, All right. 12. And let's get some, some participation in the comments. I want to hear it if you think Maudlin and Schlobaum are going to come back in this match. They're trailing by four. Anybody out there believe in Frank and Austin that they can come back from this relatively small deficit? Let us know in the comments. Go and roll. Mm -hmm. Unable to get it to roll over. So, Allison, what do you think? Can they come back? And I, I know they can. Are they going to come back? Let's hear it. I think so. From the... Authoritative expert, Allison Baldwin. She <laughs> says they're coming back. <laughs> Little partner coordination and communication going on right there. Frank goes up. Trampolines off the back. See if KB goes up. And he does. It's going to be a wash. All right, since I gave you first pick, I guess I'm, I'm going to take the other option here. I think uh, I think Caleb and Miranda will hold on here. Well, it looks like Austin may be able to pick up some points here. Going sticky side. Is he trying to roll that as well? I think he, he was trying to do something. Miranda was like, look, this is how you do it right here, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. She'll be giving lessons afterwards. <laughs> That was a good bag. Not enough oomph on it from Austin's perspective. She cleans it all up for another wash. 12-8. Again, you are watching the ACL open number 16. Yes. I, I couldn't That's remember. I, I was drawing a blank on the number. The final open of the year. Thank you for tuning in on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court here. Just in case you're questioning, if you look right there on the screen, it it's says... It's right in front of you? It, yeah, it's right there. I put it on there for, just for you. Okay, you're obviously not <laughs> over 50 because the glasses, that's at the wrong uh, distance. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not over 50. Nice airmail there from Frank. Pulled that bag a little further in the hole. Caleb sits on it now. I thought Frank, for sure that bag was going to go did in. Did you see, Frank? He went to shoot that airmail <laughs> and then he stopped for a second and thought about it. Caleb, just lay up. Yeah, Caleb pinned that bag down. Frank decided he was going to play it conservative slash safe. I think if he goes air, he's going to take both of those bags that are in front of the hole. I think the call is to board it here. Give up two? I think that's what Miranda just instructed Caleb to do. Nope, not what he's doing. <laughs> I may, have, I may have been wrong in that interpretation of the hand signals. Yeah, it's hard to hear what they're saying with these headphones on. And over this AC unit that you can hear. <laughs> 12-8. 
Miranda's throwing a 10 PPR in Austin, a 10.43. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. So we are just getting started here. We have two bracket, two brackets full of talent here in Tier 1. Is it 264 teams, Allison, that started remember, this? I don't remember what Josh said, but it was definitely up there. I think it was 264 teams, 72 of which, after six rounds of rounders, 72 teams moved on to Tier 1. We got a Dirty Bags lead change. Well, how about that? We have us as ourselves. A, uh, we what? have. I didn't do my. Ver you wanted to say that? We have ourselves a dirty bag lead change. Lead change. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm still struggling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get it all out now. We're, we're going to move on to game two in a little while. But you know what else it is? That's it's time for us to end the contest here. Yep, contest is over. I said we would end it at 15. So we will. We will randomly pick who the winner is. We will let you know who the winner of the first set of bags are, or is. And we will continue to give these bags away. For the duration of this live broadcast. So like it, share it, so you'll be eligible to win some bags. In the meantime, Austin and Frank are only four points away from taking it down. Stepping out to get around those bags, or around that one bag. He does a good job. Yeah. That could be the game right there if he can take both of these. Going slick side. Oh my goodness. Miranda. She's going to try and roll over. Yep. And that was not what she wanted to do, and that no. will do it. That's going to do it for our first match here. Frank Maudlin and Austin Schlobaum moving on. Miranda Coy, Kayla Batson still alive, dropping down to the loser's bracket. Please stay tuned. We're going to have some more action coming up shortly on the ACL broadcast court here in Triadelphia, West Virginia, at ACL Open number 16. Allcornhole.com has the largest online selection of cornhole bags for players of all levels. Through years of research and development, Allcornhole.com is the perfect bags for even pro-level players. With over four unique series to choose from, including game changers, all slides, slide rights, and steadies, you'll be sure to find the right bags to dominate the competition. Whether you're looking for bags for family gatherings, competitive league night, or the pro circuit, visit Allcornhole.com today to find the perfect series of bags for you. I need all the wins. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no L's. I gotta get a no call to quiz. Yeah. yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. yeah. Better move out the way cause I'm coming with hard it hits. My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all that is. You. Yeah. Better move you might get knocked out.
shot of the tournament so far and a performance. All right, welcome back, Cornhole fans. We are again coming to you from Triadelphia, West Virginia at ACL Open number 16 here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. Mike Morton joined by Allison Baldwin. We have another winner's bracket match coming at you right now. This is bracket B. This is going to feature a bunch of young players here. We've got Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Taking on a familiar name, at least in my household, Matthew Morton and Peyton Haynes. <laughs> These bags are live. Matthew going up for a nice high airmail, trying to get a drag there. Not able to get one of those bags that he missed, though, so he gives up a four to begin the game. Ooh, that could be two. Let's see how Peyton does. She's going to follow him over there. When airmail does not hit it. What do you think Peyton does here? Go through? How about roll? <laughs> yeah, how about a roll? Look at her go. I have to say I haven't seen Peyton throw much, so I'm unfamiliar with her game. She generally prefers to throw a stickier bag. Yeah. And throw a little lower and harder. Great nice pick up clean right up. There. First time on the broadcast court. First round on the broadcast court. Doing pretty, pretty solid, yeah. yeah. But no, she likes to throw a little stickier bag, a little lower, harder throw. Matthew, of course, likes his slick bags, so oh, yeah. she she's adjusting to Matthew's bags. And she takes the lead there with that. Uh, that uh, dirty round. bags lead change. Yeah. Or is it a Bacardi Spice lead change? I don't think we've. Officially named it that, but we could go with that. <laughs> we got some extra sponsors this weekend. We got to show let's, some love, too. Yeah, let's take care of those sponsors. They pay the bills. Matthew with the bag outside the lane. Going to step out. What do you think about this decision, Mike? I don't know if I like getting this aggressive this early, but I know his playing style and... If you told him not to do it, you're going to take him out of his game. Oh, he side rails off the back of the board. I think I just heard we're going to get a James Baldwin Cheyenne Renner up here next. Oh, how about that? We have ourselves another lead change. We're going to call it the Picardi Spiced Dirty Bags. <laughs> Lead change. Dirty Bacardi Spice lead change. Yeah. It's more memorable that way. I like that bag right there. That blocker. Going up, and he hits it. Did nice. he drag that bag, too? I can't see. I don't see. think so. No, he did not. Going up also, and she hits it, too. Doesn't drag it. Doesn't drag anything with her. She's going to give up, too. Nine-five, Burton Chamberlain in the lead. players on the court right now, a great example of the youth movement in this game. I'm not sure how old Burton and Chamberlain are, but Morton and Haynes are under 20, 19, 17. Burton, Chamberlain, both of them throwing over a 10 in their last game.
Matthew leaving that bag hanging out there to the right. Logan able to go in for a four-bagger. Matt going to give up two. And two of them to death right now, 11 to five. Let's see if Peyton can get some momentum. Momentum changed here. Ha, 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 ha. Blah. <laughs> first, hey, that was the first one for me. All right. I like that block right there. See if he goes up. That is a good block. Yeah, he does. And he misses it. Peyton goes up and misses it also. All right, so they each have one off the back. Halfway through the frame, they're even. Peyton looks like she's juggling. Going up again, and they both hit them this time. Wow. On the board, on the board. Off the back, off the back. In the hole, in the hole. They're just going blow for blow, bag for bag. She goes to clean it up and misses. She's going to give up Another some two. points there. Go yeah. figure. 13-15, Burton Chamberlain. Where they just aren't leaving any any openings here. Matthew trying They're to not. generate something with a block here. Handled Logan. nicely by Logan. Logan Chamberlain throwing an 11.33. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Gets one to fall. Head to the turn. Logan showing a couple, but... Interesting. Matt has a couple bags in front of the hole blocking it. He was trying to roll over those bags or get on top of them. Now Matthew is going to go up. The question is, I don't know if he can drag anything here. Mm, now, he gets one to go in. He's going to give up one. Stop the string of twos. <laughs> <laughs> now they're only getting ones. 14 to 5 now in favor of Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. And this is a third round winner's bracket match here in bracket B of tier one. Peyton with a third bag blocker. Is that going to be three more, I think? Yep, 17 to 5. Burton and Chamberlain firmly in control right now. be able to pick some up see if he can get around that bag he does it's really the first the absolute first non-perfect bag thrown yeah. by logan chamberlain he tried to get over and get that bag yeah he's right back on track with that bag a little bit of talk going on Ooh, he pulls it closer. <laughs> he did. He it's, did. He's happy with that shot, too. Yeah. He did exactly what he wanted. Matt's oh! able to sneak in for wow. two. Wow. I think Logan thought he might have got it in the hole far enough. I mean, I think we all thought that he got it in the hole far enough. That was, that was yeah. hanging in there. All right. So Peyton now with an opportunity to throw first. First time they've had first throw in quite a while. Perfect blocker. Justin kicks a little to the left. Now Peyton over to the right. He cleans it up in front of the hole. 
Let's see if he goes after that bag. I think his might be gettable. <laughs> Beautiful shot by and Justin Burton Jr. Wow. They are just playing phenomenal cornhole and it right now. Up. Oh. That's going to be a wash. But what a collect there. That was, that was. I know. As soon as I said I thought he could get it, he was like, yep, look at this. <laughs> I sure can. They are hard to slow down right now. I think uh, we were talking about that coffee table book uh -huh. and the, the faces that people make while they're throwing. Right? Matthews is a pretty good one. It is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> Would love to see that. A freeze frame of all the oh, beautiful rolls. These two are just right now on another planet. How are you going to slow them down? It's not going to be easy. No. Matthew and Peyton need to just survive this storm and hopefully they, Logan and Justin, cool off a little bit. Nice finish there from Matthew. He gets his half of the four bagger. Oh, there's two. And he'll take two. 17 9. Barton Chamberlain still in the lead. Yeah, just uh, to finish that thought, just would love to see a, a photo or a book of photos of all the ACL <laughs> pros and the facial expressions they make when the bag leaves their hand. Not even just pros. We could we could put everybody on sure, that Sure, why not? <laughs> the more the merrier. He lets Peyton off the hook there, putting that bag over to the right. She oh, follows him, though. Now there's a runway. Again, this for players of, of high caliber like this, it's like I say, it's a flashing airplane runway right there, right down the middle. Let's see what he does. You think he goes up here? He might go roll. Nope, shoot it is the call. Going up and off the back. Now the question for Peyton is she going to try to push this right or air up mail the it? Center. If he air mails, he can get one. Or he could step out and split the two bags yeah that's what yep those are the two options that his partner is giving him his airmails aren't on point right now so it might be a better decision well oh, and then he hits it he just got them back on point 18 <laughs> 19 or i'm sorry 18 to 7 well he has been if he's throwing 18 two, to he, 9 he missed one he and then he he missed the first one made yeah, the second one that's that's his pattern so far in this game. So remember, he's he's on a cycle, and it's off next. Okay, I hear you. Very impressed with these two young men. Obviously, I know Matthew. Absolutely. I've been seeing Peyton quite a bit, so I've seen these two quite a bit. But uh, Burton and Chamberlain both. I have not got to see them a whole lot, and they are both putting on a show. Not to the finish line yet, though. 18 to 9. In for two for Matt. Oh, oh fourth he, bag syndrome. Yep. We've got uh, all cornhole, all side 2.0s being thrown by Matt and Peyton. I'm trying to see if I can see which BG bags are being thrown by Burton and Chamberlain. Oh, nice sneak around there. Oh. If he can do it again, it might be the end of the game. Peyton has to collect this bag. Matthew doesn't. Oh, it's oh. Off. that's going to be it. Burton what Chamberlain a, moving on. Yeah, what a show there. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain moving on. Matthew and Peyton are going to stay alive. But watch out for Burton and Chamberlain. You mentioned they threw over a 10 in their last match, both of them. They both threw really well there. They did. Let's see. Logan throwing a 
Justin throwing an 8.29 in this game here. Felt a little better than that. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back with another matchup here. Actually, you know what? Let's stay here. All four players are already here. We'll just stay right here. I'm trying to check out the bracket over here. And this time we're going to see James Baldwin and Cheyenne Renner taking on Jeremiah Hector and Garrett Wiggins. This is still their down and back. We've got the games just rolling through here right now. They are coming in quick. They're, uh, they're making the announcement, letting everyone know they're up on deck here, so. Very nice. We should be bringing matches quickly with not a whole lot of time in between. All right, we have the bag spin, the knuckle tap. And these bags are live. Going up, first bag of the game. Good push there by James to get two in. Oh my goodness, that bag is just hanging there. And he knocks it in, that's gonna be seven. Fast start there for James. Yeah. Ooh, Cheyenne's got one off to the right. That could be two points. Ooh, he follows her though. Stepping out, see if he can drag this bag in. Oh, oh, I can't believe it didn't go. What a great throw. It was. Just wouldn't quite fall for him there. Stays seven to nothing. Ooh, currently, Michael Lucas Jr., Michael Dingus playing Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards. It's got to be a great game. That hole's getting awful full. James just blocks it up. He's telling him to lay it up. That's going to be four points. Making it 11 to nothing. Cheyenne's going to step out and try and get around these bags. Great block there. Cheyenne's going up and misses it. Going up again. Whew. <laughs> Hits it that time. I think she's hit a few of those in if her he, day. If he hits this, he's going to drag that one. Oh, he doesn't drag it. He goes off the back. Ooh, 
That was a weird round. Guys just stacking bags in the hole. And we got ourselves a Bet MGM double four bagger. Ooh, Cheyenne off to the right. That could be some points here. Great push by Cheyenne. She's just gonna block it up and make him do something fancy. Going up and he hits it clean, doesn't drag anything. Some awkward knuckles there. <laughs> it's gonna stay 12 nothing, James and Cheyenne in the lead. Hey Mike, everyone wants you to fix the cameras. Got it. <laughs> I was a little distracted trying to look up the bracket. My apologies, everyone. Good push there from James. Uh, see if we can get both of these. Yeah, this. That could be at least four. Bag definitely gettable. Not Bumps bad. it in, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna Ten be five. on five, five. It's gonna make it seventeen nothing. A little bit of tablet issues over here. Garrett going bag for bag with Cheyenne this frame. Pretty good. And right on cue, the announcer's jinx took care of that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Garrett. Only going to give up two. They're still in the game. It ain't over till it's over. Talk about a tall mountain to climb, though. Yeah, especially when you're playing a yeah. team like James and Cheyenne. One of the best doubles teams in the country. 19-point lead. They are ranked number six after this last national. James has thrown an even 10 right now. Leading the way for all players on the board. With that bag in... He is going to have to drag a bag. Oh, he's not able to. That's going to be the game. James and Cheyenne moving on in the winner bracket. Jeremiah taking advantage of that last bag to show everyone he can drain an airmail, though. Hit it clean. Jeremiah and Garrett still in it. They're just going to drop down to the loser's bracket. All right. And as you mentioned, they've got the matches just rolling here. So our break's going to be really short, but stick with us. We'll be back on the All Cornhole Broadcast Board in just one moment. Allcornhole.com is the perfect bags for even pro-level players. With over four unique series to choose from, including game changers, all slides, slide rights, and steadies, you'll be sure to find the right bags to dominate the competition. Whether you're looking for bags for family gatherings, competitive league night, or the pro circuit, visit Allcornhole.com today to find the perfect series of bags for you.
I need all the wins. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no L's. I gotta get a no call to quiz. Yeah. yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. yeah. Better move out the way cause I'm coming way harder. Yes, my head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all of this. You. Yeah. Better move. You might get knocked out. You can do better. Welcome back, Cornhole Nation, to ACL Open number 16. You are watching the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. Mike Morton here, joined by Allison Baldwin. Checking out some more Open Doubles Tier 1 action. This time we get to see Storm Hogue and Jacob Trzinski, a team that's been very hot as of uh, late, taking on Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld. They're doing their down and backs right now. So while they're doing that, let's go ahead and talk about what we're getting ready to give away. If we can get to 1,000 concurrent viewers... We're going to give away a set of all cornhole boards. Not bags, boards, I said. If we can get to 1,000 viewers, all you have to do is like and share this stream. And here's where I need to be clear. In order to pick the winner, I need you to comment on the All Cornhole Facebook stream. All right, the All Cornhole Facebook stream. All Cornhole Boards. And that's all. If we get to 1,000 viewers, everyone that has done those steps, liked and shared, and posted in the All Cornhole Facebook stream, hashtag All Cornhole Boards, you will be eligible for a set of boards from All Cornhole. We will do a random drawing of everyone who is eligible. But we have to get to 1,000 viewers in order to give the boards away. So we need your help. Make sure you share this stream. Let's get it out there. This is some high-caliber cornhole. Let your friends and family know it's happening. The matches are just going to get more and more intriguing as we get deeper into these brackets. The talent level of the players is just insane. Ryan Wiedenfeld thrown against Storm Hogue to our left. Takes the first two points of the game there. Giving Jacob Foreman first throw. Puts up a blocker. He gets Jacob Trzinski off the back. <laughs> Jacob doesn't know what just happened with that bag. He looked very confused. Yeah, he looked a little perplexed. Now he's missed one to the left. Let's see if uh, Jacob can clean these up. I think that he can. Not the worst outcome, but definitely not what he wanted. If 
you guys are trying to win those all cornhole boards, you must be on the all cornhole live stream feed on their Facebook page, not the ACL page. I see some people up here. Hashtag all cornhole boards on the ACL live stream. You have to go over to the all cornhole live stream and put that in the comments over there. We don't care which one you watch it from, but just in order for the contest to be manageable, we've got to keep the uh, the winner commenting on the one stream, okay? That's that's the only, only way we can make it equitable. asking what he wants him to do with this bag. I think he's going to go up here. No words. No, no words. Just, Hand signals. Yes. Cornhole sign language. All right, that's going to be one more. Six to nothing. <laughs> Foreman and Wiedenfeld. Picking up some steam here, I should say. We have a hashtag on the ACL Facebook live stream. Hashtag not winning any boards here. That is very true. Go over to the All Cornhole live feed and put your comment over there to win boards. Like and share. Jacob trying to clean everything up, not able to. Well, that was one way to get back in the game quickly. Yeah, pick up four points real quick. That'll do it. I was surprised to see that uh, Creek Killer and Foreman aren't playing together this weekend. Yeah, I haven't really heard any rationale as to why. I know there's not always a story behind that stuff. Sometimes a player can't make it, the partner finds another partner, and then the original partner I think is that, able to make it. I think Bella and Creek Killer, who are playing together this weekend, played in the last Open together and did pretty well. They played in something together and did pretty well. Someone in the comments saying that Michael Lucas Jr. and Mike Dingus took down Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards. That's a good win. <laughs> Quality win, to say the least. Absolutely. Although I will say that Mike Lucas Jr. and Michael Dingus were the number one seed coming out of rounders. Especially with uh, Lucas Jr., you know, having that elbow injury that he's been working on. <laughs> Not only did they win that game they won 21 to 8 yeah that's pretty authoritative it's kind of funny there storm said don't throw that bag jacob tossed it to him and then when storm tossed the bag down on the board the bag fell and jake drasinski said yeah but i wasn't going to hit the board there <laughs> <laughs> i was going to hit in a totally different spot that would cause different vibrations Jacob and Storm playing last night on CBS Sports in the doubles shootout. 
They've been a hot team lately. They really have. All year. Winning uh, winning their bracket in Vegas and and then going on to win, right? Right. First national of the season this year. Last couple times we've seen them on our court, they won, but I'm not... I guess I'm going to say it wasn't in real convincing fashion. They win a close game at the very end. Yeah, they're having to uh, do some adjustments also at the end of their season this year, having to switch bags. Yeah, we won't so they, we won't they, get into the negative aspect of that. They won their bracket, got second to Cody Johnson. It, it's and the first, yeah, at the first national. Tom yeah, it was a runner-up finish. Yep. We won't get into the negative aspects of the bag change. Just the fact that uh, there was some uh, a change of sponsors for Storm and Jacob, and they are now tossing some Siva bags. Again, I. I'm not 100% positive. If anybody knows, hit in the comments what the bags are, but I think they're the uh, guillotines. They are the guillotines. Okay, there we go. Confirmed. Just had to ask me, Mike. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> I see Yimmy Jumans in the comments. And on the other side of the board, can we read those names? BG... You've got eyes that are younger than 50, Allison. They're sitting to where that I can't see them. Now they're going to put them all in the hole. And there's, there's two points for Jacob Trzinski. Yeah, the Jacobs are throwing against each other. Two points for Jacob Trzinski. 18 to 7. We'll see if they can get a little momentum going here now. Thus far, it's been all Wiedenfeld and Foreman. Yeah, they are uh, definitely taking, taking a commanding Those are BG lead. Vikings, I will say. Oh, yep. Now you can see them. He put those two over here where we can see them. Boy, when Storm lets that bag go, it looks like he is just throwing it with all the energy he has. Yeah, it looks like his arm might hurt at the end of the day. Eighteen eleven, Trzinski immediately up with the block. Cover bag there by Foreman. Oh, look at that bag. Not sure he needed to roll it, but he did just for good measure because he's so good at it. Yeah. Ooh, Jacob knocking. Well, Jacob I said, in. Yeah. <laughs> when I said that, I was like, they're both Jacob. Let's see what Trzinski does here. Foreman first. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I was. <laughs> the Jacobs are confusing. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, he hit it in just the right spot. He was surprised they didn't go. Backside. <laughs> <laughs> Young guns just want to shoot, don't they? They want to do all the tricky stuff. They want to roll. They want to shoot. They want to cut. It's, hmm. it's it's boring just putting them in the hole. Yeah, Jacob played it safe there, but he he definitely wanted to try something. Oh, 
18 to 15, and all of a sudden the Hogue Trzinski train has started. It was quiet early. It was all Wiedenfeld and Foreman, and now Hogue and Trzinski on an absolute tear. Someone in the comments asking what Ryan's PPR is. He's currently throwing a 10. He's the leader in PPRs on this board with a 10. Storm with a miss off the back there. Wiedenfeld can get in for three. End the game. Yeah. Airmail for the win. Or a roll. He's going airmail. And he doesn't get it. That's going to be a wash. Storm says he got lucky, and he sure did. He left the door open. There's two for Foreman to pick up. Sounds like you're calling your shot. Looks like he's determined not to leave those points on the board. We'll, we'll see. In for two. And he will. That's going to put them on 20. Stop the bleeding there. Stops Hogan Trzinski's big run. Let's see what Wiedenfeld does with bag number one. Pressure applied immediately. Oh, he got over him, but not quite in the hole. Look at that oh, hard Oh, that's push. a great, what a great push. bag. That and could be trouble. Yeah, that could be. Oh, and he's he going to have to collect this. Hole. Storm Hogue. Look, he's down there shaking his this. head. He just did a great job. All right, that's going to be the game. Big win there. Ryan Wiedenfeld and Jacob Foreman moving on in the winner's bracket. Hogan Trzinski fell behind early, caught fire, but not quite enough to erase the entire deficit. They'll stay alive down in the loser's bracket. We will take a quick break. We'll be back with another match here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. Cornhole.com has the largest online selection of cornhole bags for players of all levels. Through years of research and development, AllCornhole.com is the perfect bags for even pro-level players. With over four unique series to choose from, including game changers, all slides, slide rights, and steadies, you'll be sure to find the right bags to dominate the competition. Whether you're looking for bags for family gatherings, competitive league night, or the pro circuit, visit AllCornhole.com today to find the perfect series of bags for you.
All right, welcome back, Cornhole fans. We got an exciting matchup coming up here next. Anytime you get Guy Nation on the boards, it's going to be exciting. Matt Guy, Brett Guy, taking on Fisher Hamilton, a young man making a name for himself out in Las Vegas, right? Um, I don't remember where and that Gavin, was. I was not there. Gavin Kano. I believe they're still taking some down and backs. Yeah, they're not live. Where are we at in the bracket, Allison? Do you have it up? I do. Let's take a moment while they're finishing their down and backs to see who's still left in the winner's bracket. So the winner of this will go on to play Mike Lucas Jr. and Michael Dingus. The winner of that will go on to the King Seat game. On the other side, we have Frank Modlin, Austin Schlobaum, Jacob Foreman, and Ryan Wiedenfeld. Wiedenfeld. The winner of that goes on to play the King Seat game. And that was your bracket A. That is bracket A. Bracket B, we have Derek Holland, Josh Holland, Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain. Who winner we just of, saw, who yep. were on fire. Winner of that goes to the King Seat game. And then we have Joe Neistead, Nico Morellis, James Baldwin, Cheyenne Renner. Winner of that goes to the King Seat game. So A bracket a little bit further behind than the, the B. I have not seen Matt Guy throw it all this weekend. Just doing Matt Guy things right there. I did see that in the first round, they were almost knocked off early. They were trailing 17 to 15, and Brett scored a six to give them the win. These bags are live here. Fisher getting us started. All right, so it's time to give away another set of bags. Allison, who's left in the winner's bracket, in this bracket? Uh, these two, Lucas Jr., Dingus, Foreman, Windenfield, Maudlin, Schlobaum. Yes, this is a winner bracket game. So we'll see Holland Holland, Logan Chamberlain, or Burton Chamberlain, up next. That should be a good one. I tell you what, for this contest, how about this? Let's predict how many points Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano will finish with. If you think they're going to win... Give me a 21, all right? You're not going to have to hit 22, 23, 24 exactly. If you think they're going to win, give me a 21. Predict the number of points that they are going to finish with in this game right here. When are we cutting it off, Mike? We're going to cut it off when there are a total of, let's see, there's already a couple points scored. When there's a total of 10 points scored. Okay. We're going to cut it off. So you have to like and share. And then in the All Cornhole Facebook stream, we need you to hashtag ACL Open 2. We're going to call it 2, Contest 2. ACL Open 2. And who you think is going to win.
I'm sorry, I said, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> How many points do you think that Hamilton and Kano are going to score? 21 if you think they're going to win. Hashtag. What was your hashtag, Mike? ACL Open 2. Because this is our second contest. ACL Open 2. And then how many points do you think Hamilton and Kano are going to score this game? 21 if you think they're going to win or whatever total you think they're going to end up on. And don't forget about the board giveaway. In order to give away the boards, we have to get up to 1,000 viewers. Make sure you're liking and sharing and helping us get there, okay? Well, I didn't see Matt and Brett just taking off and making it 8 to nothing. See, ooh, looks like they're going to pick up some points right here. Fisher giving some guidance on exactly where to hit these bags. Gavin's going to pick up four, cutting the lead in half, making it eight to four, guy in the lead. And with those points, that will do it for, for that contest. We're going to give away some more bags. We'll keep on doing it. About a set an hour for every hour we're on the air, so stick with us, all right? Brett giving that point back right there, those points back. Yeah, both players were, leave them on the board. were visibly frustrated with their last two bags. And there's the flashing runway lights. Oh, no. Fisher not happy with himself there. Brett more than happy to take a couple. 10 to 4 now in favor of Guy Nation. You know what we're missing, Allison? Jake. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're missing the big shot. We haven't had the big shot, really. Yeah, we haven't had anything too crazy happening yet. So uh, hopefully that's a premonition. He's going to step out and go after that bag. I don't know if I like this decision. Oh, that's wow. Why, that's why I didn't like it. That went directly over the center of the hole. Well, that's because he threw it hard trying to pick up that bag. Right, yeah. He's telling him to go sticky and try and grab it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. This frame is turning into a killer. Matt's going to finish up with a four-bagger. That's going to be seven points. Just like that, 17 to four. Guy Nation breaking this one open. Let's see what Fisher can do to stop the momentum that Guy Nation has built up right now. Brett Guy just straight in the hole right now. Doesn't look like he's interested at all in any block game. Throwing an 11.33 right now, Brett Guy. Yeah, he's not interested in anything other than staring at that hole and putting the bag in it. Matt Guy throwing a 10. Those, those numbers are hard to beat. They are. Those bags are no doubters. And there's a double four-bagger, and that's going to be brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Yeah, Brett Guy's bags are not creeping into the hole. They're not crawling into the hole. He's hitting it with some authoritative force. He, uh, with that four-bagger, just knocked it up to an 11.5 PPR for this game. <laughs> How about that? It's unreal. And 
And there's a blocker from Gavin, partially in the hole. It Ooh, does it, get Matt yeah. to miss. On, it does. Yeah. He kicks over to the left. Matt with one clearly out of play now. If Gavin can pick this bag up, he'll be in shape to stop the oh, bleeding and pick up a bag. couple. Total hole control right there. See if Matt goes up or goes block. Total he hole control block. cornhole, Allison. You ever think of that, that business name? Total hole control cornhole. It's a mouthful. Yeah, it rhymes, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Going up, and he hits it. Oh, there it for is the, the big shot I said we had been missing. What that's, a shot. That's going to be four points for Fisher and Gavin. 17 to 8. And right on cue, as I said, we were missing the big shot. Big drag right there. Yeah, he said, here you go. I got one for you guys. That'll get some energy in the room. Brett's still on a mission. <laughs> He's staring down that hole. I mean, he is staring it at it like it is his long hated enemy. <laughs> oh no! His PVR <laughs> <laughs> with that bag. Two more, 17 to 10. All of a sudden, Fisher, Hamilton, Gavin, Kano, crawling back into this one. <laughs> Gavin with another <laughs> block, trying to get Matt Guy to miss again. Wally must see himself on camera over there. He says the crowd is looking very sexy today. <laughs> Maybe Wally should get a set of bags for the most creative comment. <laughs> that guy had stepped out to collect this bag, but now he's coming right back in. They're going to head to the turn, even on the board. Good cleanup from Gavin there, and Matt's going to have to clean this up. I'm not even sure he's going to try. He'll yield two points. 17 to 12 now. You can feel the momentum switching a little bit now to Fisher and Gavin as their confidence builds trying to climb back into this game. Trailing 17 to 12 now. And Fisher and Brett are not playing the block game whatsoever from their end. Well, and right as I say that, Fisher leaves one in front of the hole. Push and replace from Brett. And I'm not sure that was an intentional block from Fisher, but... Oh, and he rolls right around that bag of Brett's. Now, not a hard cleanup for Brett, but Fisher made him do it. Finished with his four-bagger. And Brett again misses bag number four. Two frames in a row from that end of the board finished the same way. Brett Guy missed bag number four, gives up two more. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, 17 to 14. The crowd growing a little bit bigger here in person as it seems to do whenever Matt and Brett are involved in a close game. Gavin's block shot here, though, comes up a little short and to the left. Brett's PPR went down to an 11. I feel for with him. With those two. I feel for him. Missed bags. All right, this time Gavin's able to collect that bag a little bit closer. They'll head halfway through the frame here. They're even, each one in and one on. Going cut bag. He doesn't cut all the way back, but he gets a corner of the bag in the hole. Leaving a bumper for Matt, though, that he doesn't use. All right, and the call here from Fisher was very quick. Roll shot. There was no hesitation. We haven't seen a lot of those in this game. 
I almost feel like an airmail would have drug a couple bags there, but you have to know your partner. Matt Guy goes airmail, and he does drag one of Gavin's bags, and they'll wash on eights and leave the score at 17-14. Again, I thought an airmail might have been the right shot there, but you have to know your partner. You have to know their strengths. And Fisher definitely very quickly called for a roll. He didn't even think about it. See if Brett can get two points here or if Fisher's going to get that bag in the hole. Nice roll. Oh, no. Brett goes for the cleanup and misses off the back. Wow. Fisher going over. Gets over it again. That one doesn't drop, but it's still nicely placed. Five on four. Fisher showing a point right now, but he has two bags in the hole. Push is what he's asking for. Yeah, I'd probably go airmail again here, but I don't have the game that these two have. Yeah, I don't know. I think if you I think you trampoline off the back if you go airmail there. He gets one to go. So he's currently sitting on eight to Brett's four. Big shot here. And he's able to just Brett sneaks it in the right side give cleanly. Up one. After missing that bag off the back, he was in danger of giving up a three or more. Got to be happy with escaping with only giving up a point. Definitely. You got off, you got let off the hook there. Now, Gavin has been going block consistently. And he changes it up for this frame, straight in the hole. He went three yeah. frames in a, in a row, he went block. You don't. Know you don't know a whole lot of people that want, that want to get into an airmail battle with Matt Guy. But that's what, you know, the block was real effective for him. And but he, you know what? He, he hasn't went, been going airmail either. He went straight in the hole, and Matt Guy missed his, missed his slide bag. Bag off to the right, out of play. Gavin knew what he was doing. Does he step out or no? But it looks like he's just going to. Put that bag in his hand in the hole and move on to the next round. Yep. Yep. That guy stepping out a little bit for a better angle, and he is able to go in cleanly. And we have a wash on this end. Score stays 17-15 in favor of Guy Nation, but Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano have been on a furious comeback trail here. It was 17 to nothing, wasn't it, at one point? I'm not sure. I don't know. It was a big lead. Let's see. Allison pulling up those stats. Yeah, got it over here. Seventeen four. Seventeen to four at one point. So an eleven point run here by Hamilton and Kano. Red all the way out to the edge of the mat here. Was hoping to maybe get around that bag, but it was hopelessly in the hole. Another four bagger for Fisher. This time Brett does not miss bag number four. And we have ourselves a Bet MGM Casino double four bagger there. The score remains 17 to 15. And the crowd gets a little bigger. If you're watching online, please like and share. Let everyone know that there's some great cornhole being played here in Triadelphia, West Virginia, at the ACL Open number 16. Fisher and Brett both throwing over a 10 PPR. Yeah, if you're in the game this deep against Guy Nation, I guarantee you you're both throwing over a 10. They put you away if you're not throwing over a 10 by this point. Matt and Gavin both. Matt throwing a 9.43. Gavin throwing a 9.57. Oh, my goodness. That could be a lead change. 
four-bagger from Gavin. Matt Guy now. That's that bag had to be on, in the hole. It did have to be in the hole. They're, I couldn't get the words out of my mouth fast enough. They're going to be on 19 now. Fisher, Gavin, 19. Guy Nation, 17. That's a lead change there. We've been calling it the Bacardi Spiced lead change. That's 15 points on the run that they're on right now. We're also in crunch time here, 19-17. I mentioned in round number one, I guess they had a bye. So technically round number two, Guy Nation almost lost. They were trailing 17 to 15, and Brett picked up a six spot to win it. 17 15, I don't know if I'd call that almost a loss. It's Guy well, Nation. In the second round, <laughs> you don't expect to have them a game that close. Brett with an opportunity to pick up, pick up a couple here. Pick up two and tie the game at 19s. And, and he does. Absolutely. Bag number four not abandoning him that time. And we are potentially just one missed bag away from the end of this game. Definitely an awesome comeback no matter who wins. That is for sure. And Matt Guy blinks first unbelievable he's going to be going up and after that bag let's see Gavin can apply the heat he, he does. does do you go up now or do you wait to see if that bag comes in we'll find out he's going to wait I noticed Gavin if he, if he comes in with a little bit of speed on this he could bully that bag out of the hole but he's not He's not changing his game. I He's just also, putting it in the hole. You're going to need more than one airmail to drag that bag. You're going to need to move it in and then drag it. Wow. Matt Guy with a missed airmail. Gavin takes control of the front of the hole. Matt goes up again. That's and that's going to do, do it. it. Big upset here. Wow, Triadelphia, West Virginia, open number 16. Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Kano fell behind 17 to 4. And they come back with a furious frenzy to knock off Guy Nation 24 19 here. Wow. All right, stay tuned here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. We're going to be back with some more exciting action from Triadelphia here after this. Hard as a brick, but I'm harder than all that is. 
All right, Cornhole fans, welcome back to ACL Open number 16 here to the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. Mike Morton here along with Allison Baldwin bringing you the action from Triadelphia, West Virginia. We're here at the Highlands Sports Complex watching some fantastic doubles, open doubles action. We just saw a great come from behind win by Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano knocking off Guy Nation after falling behind 17 to 4. What do you think about that, Allison? I, you know, I didn't see that happening. However, can't <laughs> say that I'm mad at it. Yeah, it was it was an amazing comeback there. They just refused to quit. I I loved seeing that. I loved seeing them like we say weather the storm and you know, they did a great job keeping their composure and they did. getting through all of it. They could have thrown in the towel. I mean, just playing Matt and Brett alone is got to be some sort of, like, mind game. Absolutely. What a breakthrough for them that, you know, knocking off Guy Nation in, in spectacular fashion. Yeah, congratulations, guys. You did a great job. All right, so now we're moving on to the match at hand. This is the first live frame here. Another... Young duo that put on a show earlier, Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain were we on sure a mission did. when we saw them last. Couple familiar faces, the Hollands. Josh Holland winning the shootout last night, right? Men's single shootout? Yeah. Single shootout. Both of them making the doubles broadcast in Chicago, winning their bracket. This is our... Is this going to win or goes to the king seat? Uh, I believe so. Let me check out the bracket really quick. We're seeing an air show here. Uh, just as I say that, Josh misses one. Yes, winner of this goes on to play the king seat. They'll be playing either Joe Neistead, Stico, Nico Morellis, James Baldwin, Cheyenne Renner, one of those two teams. All right, so Justin and Logan off to an, another fast start here. We saw against Matthew Morton and Peyton Haynes, they jumped out quickly and held on for the win. And they jump out quickly on Holland Squared. Holland Squared. Where's Bernie? I thought he was going to stick around. Uh, I thought he might, but no dice. Where you at, Bernie we miss neighbors? You, Bernie. If you're listening, what's up? All right, so don't forget about the board giveaway. On the All Cornhole Facebook stream, just need you to type hashtag All Cornhole Boards. And if we can get to 1,000 viewers, we will give away a set of boards to someone with that hashtag as long as they've liked. You also have to like and share. Like and share. Let's get some more viewers in here. And then to win the boards, All Cornhole Facebook page. Hashtag all cornhole boards. Looking to clean that up. That he was. Josh going up, and he's going to hit that air mail. Another point, though. Six to nothing. Burton and Chamberlain looking good. Yeah, I think uh, Derek and Josh might have something to say about that score, though. I, I don't think it they're going to take this far, line down. Far from over. Everybody watching, let us know in the comments who you think is going to win this game and move on to the king seat. Yeah, let's see, let's see your predictions. Let us know who you got. So 
So, Allison, you got a prediction? I don't know. These two young guns have been on a roll, but how do you go against Josh and Derek Holland? Right. They Even just got on. By six. Right, right. I, I think, I think uh, I'm going to have to go with the Hollands 21. Let's go 11. Yeah, I was thinking the Hollands also, but I think it's anybody's game. Well, clearly, the way Burton and Chamberlain have played. Lights I, out. Right. I'm not sure why I would pick against them because <laughs> they have barely missed <laughs> a bag. Was, and that right was on, my thought, too. Right on cue, beautiful air mount drag there. Yep. Josh going to finish up and possibly take two. And that's what it's going to be, making it 5-6. The Hollands are catching up. Lots of bags just going in the hole, Mike. Yeah. Not a lot to talk about. There's a blocker. No, it's right not. Right around <laughs> it. It's not a blocker. Yeah, I think it's more in his own lane yeah. than in Derek's. He just cleans it right up. Get that out of there. That's going to be a four-bagger I was bagger so excited to see a bag that didn't go in the hole. <laughs> Something to talk about. That's going to be a double four bagger brought to you by Bet MGM Casino. All right. Josh goes block. Not a problem. Yep, Justin cleans it up. Yep. Push and replace here from Josh. Nicely done. He's able to get around that bag and hang in the hole. Now we start to get the hole a little muddy here. Even on the board, heading to the turn. Josh playing it conservatively there. Nothing's going to drop. The score will stay 6-5. That round ends up being marked in the scorebook as a PPR killer. Derek throwing first now. They're on a mini run of five after giving up the first six points of the game. Again, we're here in Triadelphia, West Virginia. This is ACL Open number 16. We appreciate you tuning in. Last Open of the season. Yes. The next time you will hear our voices, we will be at Worlds. A lot of talent here. A lot of craziness going on in the Open doubles today. And a lot of big names that didn't, didn't make Tier 1. Kind of crazy to watch. I know. I walked past a board earlier, and I looked, and I was like, what? How did they end up? Right. And Catherine was like, it's a blind draw. They're not playing right now. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say, because it was like Justin Stranger and Damon Dennis. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> they were just getting their practice in. Oh, that bag That's falls in the hole. It's going to be another wash. Yep. We'll replay 6-5. Josh throwing first again. Going block. See what Justin does. He's going up and he hits the airmail <laughs> drag. And Josh goes off to the right. Looking a little upset with himself. I'm telling you, these two kids are not intimidated. I shouldn't say kids, but they are not intimidated. No, not at all. They're playing like 
veterans right now. He might be able to pick up four here if he can sneak both of these bags in without taking Josh's. I don't know if you can do that, but you <laughs> certainly can. <laughs> Told you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Justin, for doing that. Dang. these Make me look like I know what I'm talking about. These guys are on fire. 10-5. I thought for sure that cat was going to fall in the hole. It parked itself on the edge. Wouldn't drop. This is what you call a good old-fashioned zone these guys are in. That wasn't what he wanted, but the, I think that's still a good bag. See, even if he clips that bag, his the bag in his hand isn't going in. He just goes block. Ooh. Going to take a second thought on that one. A little double clutch. It's allowed. Balks are allowed. I agree with you, Melissa, but unfortunately, we don't have any say in who's up here. I would bet that there's probably someone live on that game if they're playing now. Derek with an airmail miss off the back. Logan rolls up onto the stack. We'll see what Derek tries to do here. On the board, he'll give up another point. He almost hit the back of the hole, but yes, he will give up a point there to Logan. 11 to 5 now. Winner of this moves on to the king seat match. In bracket A. Or bracket, this is bracket B, excuse me. Clean airmail there. Barely touched wood. Justin covering that stack up. Josh rimming around the back of the hole there. So while they're discussing what bag they're going to throw, we will have Michael Lucas Jr. and Michael Dingus up here next playing Fisher Hamilton and Gavin, how's it, Kano? I think it's Kano. If anybody knows if I'm saying that wrong, let us know in the comments. It's a little hard for us in the open to predict who we're going to get up here on the court as far as names. The pro division got all the pronunciations down, I think. <laughs> we hope so. We should by now, anyway. There were, there were some questionable ones I heard at the beginning of the season. So right now, Mr. Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain throwing lights out, making our predictions look look silly at this point but again you haven't beaten the Hollands until you've scored the last point all right they they talked about it a little bit Taking the time out. Logan decided he wanted to come look at it himself. I like that decision. Oh, that's definitely not what he wanted. No. He took the time out, went and looked at it, decided he was going to go roll. Look, Derek asked Josh, and he said, oh, no, whatever you want to do. <laughs> a man of very few words, Josh Holland. Well, that is a very appropriate description of Josh Holland. And that's going to be one to Logan. 
17 to 5 now. Wow. We going to see another favored team fall after watching Guy Nation we fall just, just a minute might. ago? That could be two more. He's in Josh's lane now. Another bag to the left from Josh. Justin. Oh, he was going to try to clean that bag up and end it all. Now Josh may end up stealing some points. Josh going up and off the back. Unbelievable almost, 19 to five. Yeah, I'm every break is going the way of Burton and Chamberlain. They're throwing lights out, they are but when they need out. a break, the break is going their way. Two points away from the king seat. Two points away from going to the king seat game. Correct. I'm sorry. Yes. In bracket B. Yes. In bracket B. They Two brackets here today. Yes. Two tier one brackets. I believe it was 264 teams started this event. <laughs> Logan was pretty excited with that shot. Rightfully so. It was a great shot. But Derek Collin just calm, cool, and collected. Cleans up the board for the wash. Again, you haven't beaten the Hollands until you hit 21. I know that's it's like that for everybody, but they're particularly nasty with their backs against the wall. Josh, Looking with to get a strong, some yeah, strong round here. I think you just go in here, give up your four, and move on to the next round. Josh just going to put it on and take his four points. Give the bags back to Dad. Let him throw them. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a smart play. I think so, By too. Justin. He really yeah. didn't have much of a, a shot, at least as far as percentage-wise. You've got a big lead. You're still leading by 10. You only need one missed bag from either of the Hollands to capitalize. Now, Ooh. whether that happens or not, we'll find out. I think all of these bags are going to end up in the hole that are hanging. Derek got his. And he is in with all four bags. Going to pick up two. You might want to do a sweep there. No. Yeah. I could see one of the bags starting the to poke up through the hole. Yeah, thing. the fact that Justin grabbed it tells me nothing was touching. Right. <laughs> Nineteen eleven, two more, but there we go. Yep. That famous phrase, a four-bagger will win it. There is nothing Josh Holland can do to collect that bag. Justin Burton Jr. halfway home. Josh goes blocker with bag number three. And he gets around it. That's going to do it. We have another big upset here, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain. We've seen him twice on this court. And they've been just simply on fire both times. They're going to move on to the king seat matchup here in bracket B of tier one. Wow. Hollins will stay alive. They'll drop down to the loser's bracket. I'm sure we haven't heard the last of them either. But big wins back to back here for a couple uh, young upstart teams. Guy Nation falls. Holland Square falls. Wow. Wow. And next we have a couple more vets. Michael Lucas Jr., Michael Dingus playing uh, some young guns again. Will it happen three times in a row, Mike? 
I, I've been wrong almost everything I've said. I think, I think I'm going to go with the young guns this time. Yeah? I think I'm going to have to go with the young guns this time. They're feeling it. They're playing on emotion, and they're hitting their shots. So they're taking their warm-up tosses here. We're going to have Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. These players are doing a great job being on top of being over here. We're not getting any break time. They are. They're excited <laughs> to be on the broadcast court. Michael Lucas Jr. and Michael Dingus came into this bracket as the number one seed coming out of doubles rounders. I believe we'll get started. You hear Double D and Philip Hayden over here? They're cheering somebody <laughs> on. I don't know what's going on behind that black curtain, but they're liking it. I believe we'll get started here with Michael <laughs> Lucas Jr. and Gavin Kano. Let's see if we can get an indi indication if they're going live here or coming back down. <laughs> no says, indication. Jake says, Mike picked the kids. Lucas Jr. and Dingus win confirmed. <laughs> you know, he's from their area. Well, not exactly their area, but he plays with them, so. Oh, it's 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 hard for me to pick against Lucas Jr. and I Dingus. I know, because they're, they're semi from our area also. Two of the nicest guys in the game as well. We all play in the same conference. <clears throat> but I have to go with the recency bias after seeing the after clinic. After seeing Guy Guy Holland Holland go yeah. down. Are these bags live? I have not seen any indication that they're live, but they did hit start on the scoreboard, so I guess we just have to wait and see. That is why I was asking, because I saw that. Yeah, I don't get the sense that they were live. There wasn't a lot of selling. There's out. the bag spin. <laughs> Fisher hit a big push shot there to clean that board up and showed no emotion when he did it. That tells me it wasn't live. Gavin is going to start it off over here. All right, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. The last couple matches have been barn burners. Gavin leads it off with a block. Lucas Ooh, tries, tries to go to around yeah. it. Nice bag there by Gavin. Don't forget to like and share. You type... Oof. Hashtag all cornhole boards on the all cornhole Facebook stream, and you'll be eligible to win a set of boards if we can get the viewership up to a thousand. So help us out, like and share, and then the all Ooh. cornhole Facebook stream. Just type hashtag all cornhole boards for a chance. <laughs> you know that's not happening, Jake. Gavin really wanted that bag back. Mike going up, able to grab two. Gavin still takes first gonna point take, of the game. Yeah, going to take one. Guys are bag stacking now. Exactly. I thought with, you know, the bag choices of these two teams, we would see somewhat of a muddy board, but they're not playing any games. They're just going straight for the hole. There's one four-bagger. There's two. Another double four-bagger brought to you by Bet MGM Casino. Got some BGs and some WTF bags here in this game. Gavin with a miss to the right there. Doors open for Lucas Jr. Good bag. He bullies it a little bit, takes hole control. Blocks it up. Oh, go and roll. I like that. He owns the hole right now. The question is, will they get blocked or, or clogged? I, 
I think in. Uh, oh, yeah, they're not going to clog now. He just is stacking bags. Not in the hole. On the just board. On the board. <laughs> this is what I thought we were going to see. Yeah. Here it is. Mike's calling for the the airmail. They're double thinking it. Hit it. He said, let's go. Hit it. That's what we came here to do. Let's yep. see it. Michael Lucas Jr. Going, Going up. up. Off the back. A little too strong. Yeah, that looks like what I was doing all day with my airmail. It's very straight. Way too long. <laughs> all right, two to nothing now. Hamilton and Kano. Playing for the other spot in the king seat match. We just saw Justin Burton Jr. And Fisher Hamilton claim one spot. Fisher Hamilton. Dang is going to step Gavin out. Gavin Kano trying to grab spot number two. He's going after that bag. And, oh, oh, he gets that one, but it bounces over. That was unlucky. Yeah, that was just an unfortunate bounce for him. And he goes up to try and drag it, and he hits it, but unable to pull for the drag. I love the confidence there, though. I like yeah, that. I, yeah, there was just, let's go. Let's get these points. Score stays two to nothing. Gavin stepping out to help collect this. Comes up a little short, but not a bad bag. Mike does a great job going over it. But Gavin's bags are, yeah, there they go. There they all go. Both players now three bags deep towards a four-bagger. Oh, bag four syndrome bites Gavin and Mike Lucas Jr. on the board with a two. We're now tied at two. Mike Ding is getting to throw first now. Someone's saying Fisher, the best U18 player in the world. Ooh, that's strong. I don't, yeah, I think there might be some baby goat fans out there that have something to say about that. I mean, he's, I think he's clearly demonstrating that he's, he's near the top. Absolutely. I, and there may, there's definitely an argument for who is on top. Sure. He hasn't done anything to hurt his case that I've seen. Just any time you talk about number one player of anything, it's always so subjective. Yeah. Mike Dingus with a, I guess you'd call that an off round for him. And Fisher Hamilton right on cue. We were talking about him and comes up with a big, big frame there. Six to two now. You know, depending on how uh, the final rankings sort themselves out, ACL is going to have some work to do figuring out which players, U18 players, end up being pros next year. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Fisher's so got himself. Talent. Yeah, Fisher's got himself in the mix for sure. Lucas Jr. could pick up some points here if he can finish out with uh, a four bagger. And he will. One. Ouch. Will he get five? Yes, he will. Going to take five points and the lead. 
I will say I, we've we've spent some time talking about Fisher, but I think Gavin has definitely held his own on his end of the boards. He's oh, impressed yeah. me as well. He's just a name that I haven't heard up until today. I've heard I've been hearing about Fisher all year. I saw him. I actually watched him play at the Florida Open. Yeah. This season. Yep. He made a really deep run. So Lucas and Dingus take the lead there. Ooh, they might give it back yeah, right here. Yeah, but as quickly as they take it, Fisher's looking to wrestle it back away. Oh. oh. Rare unforced error there from Fisher Hamilton. Mike Dingus right back on, but Fisher he can, can still, still yep. pick up two. Force a lead change. And he does. It's going to be 8-7 now. And how many lead changes will we have in this game as they right. go up the leaderboard? Leapfrogging each other all the way up. See Gavin trying to recover from that off frame he had last time where he gave up a five. Starts out strong. Heat from Mike Lucas. Eleven to seven now, Hamilton and Kano. Mike can pick up two points right here. He is going to, making it 11 to nine. So the next match we will have up here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court will be the King Seat match in bracket B. We'll have Joe Niestet and Nico Morellis Taking on Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Man, I'm excited to see those kids again. Me too. They are lighting it up. Two more in a tie game, possibly. He's telling him to roll over. Roll over for the wash. And he misses it. Going to give up two. Tie making it a tie game. game. <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything less. We've had some great competitive matches. So the winner of this one, 10 points away from a spot in the king seat. Their opponent, the king seat match. Their opponent, Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld. Mike gonna step out. Logan knocks a few of them loose. Not happy with that bag. Dingus is going to clean it up. Logan is going to try and clean up his side. 
And he does it perfectly. Beautiful bag. Nicely done. Stepped out to the edge of the carpet. Hit it square right where he needed to. Yep. And that's another... That's professional cornhole. Yeah. That's another double four-bagger brought to you by M Bet MGM Casino. Dare I say maybe we're seeing a trend here today of sticky, dirty bag players, dirty game players doing well based on who's still left alive. Yeah. Gavin cleaning up everything that was hanging in the hole. a bunch of bags in the hole again that would mean yeah. there's another double four bagger brought to you by bed mgm casino i tell you what allison i've got some good news you have a red bull <laughs> <laughs> no we're going to change for the board giveaway we're going to lower the threshold to 500 viewers. If we can get to 500 viewers, we're going to give away a set of all cornhole cornhole boards. How about that? Very exciting stuff, Mike. And if we can get up to 1,000, we'll give away another set. Just got to help us out by liking and sharing and go to the all cornhole Facebook feed and type hashtag all cornhole boards. Fish are going to finish up and get some points here. So let's get these subscribe. Let's get these viewers up. Like and share. Let everyone know we're coming down to the wire here with some great action. The more viewers, the better. And the, why not? Let's let's give away some boards. Who doesn't want free boards? So when you say viewers, Mike, you're talking about viewers on the All Cornhole Facebook feed? Yes. All right. So if you're watching on the ACL and you're looking at those numbers, those are not the numbers we are talking about. We're talking about the numbers on the All Cornhole live feed on the All Cornhole Facebook page. Let's, let's get it. Let's give some boards away. And while we're at it, let's give away another set of bags. We did this this past weekend, and I, I really liked how it went. So I'm going to do it again. This time, I want you to type hashtag ACL Open 3 for contest 3 for the third set of bags. ACL Open 3. And I just want to know the name of of someone that you feel is influential in cornhole your first mentor your current mentor your favorite pro player your local director we want to we want to focus on some positives in the cornhole world so acl open three and the name of anyone there's no wrong answer here the name of anyone that you think deserves a little credit a little shout out and let's, uh, let's get some positive vibes going here. Call some people out that deserve it. Again, that's for a set of all cornhole bags. Any four bags from their website shipped directly to your house. So we are just giving stuff away. And all you got to do is watch and participate. Like and share. Respond. The that's viewers it. on the uh, all cornhole... Facebook page stream are growing. We are at over 200. All right. Let's As those go. numbers go up, we will at 500 give away a set of boards. So go like and share. Hashtag all cornhole boards needs to be in the all cornhole Facebook comments. 
and you will be eligible once we hit 500. We've lowered the threshold. We're making it easier because we want to do it. We're also watching, too, so we're included in those numbers. How about that? <laughs> we're doing our part. And then, in addition to that, we're going to give away some bags. Hashtag ACL Open 3. And the name of somebody you find influential in Cornhole. Could be the first mentor you ever had. Could be your local director that works tirelessly behind the scenes. Your favorite pro. Anybody you think deserves a little bit of attention. No wrong answer. Just got to type hashtag ACL Open 3 and then their name. Go check out the All Cornhole Facebook page. Watch that live stream over there. We need those numbers going up to 500 so we can give away some boards. In the meantime, we have got ourselves yet another classic game going on here, though. 14-11, Hamilton and Kano showing they belong. Number one seed coming into the bracket from doubles rounders was Lucas Jr. and Dingus. Hamilton, Kano, Hamilton and Kano already with the big upset. I am seeing all kinds of names. Love it. That's what I like. I love going through those comments. They're coming in so quick, I can't even read them all. <laughs> I love going through those comments. Like I said, we did this last weekend at Beast of the East in just going through those comments was bringing back a lot of memories for myself, seeing a lot of names. Oh, what a sick, sick roll for Fisher Hamilton. I'm seeing some hashtag all cornhole boards on the ACL Facebook feed. You got to go do that over on the all cornhole Facebook page. If you want to win those boards, we got to get those numbers up to 500. Yeah, the, co the comment needs to be on the All Cornhole stream so that we can use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So We are live on the ACL Facebook page, and we are also live on the All Cornhole Facebook page. The giveaways are over on the All Cornhole page. Don't care where you're watching it from necessarily, but it Just behooves you. Just got a comment over there. Yeah, it behooves you to uh, tune into the All Cornhole stream at least try to win some stuff. Nice roll there from Mike Lucas. You got to like, you got to share to be a winner over there also with the All Cornhole Facebook page. Gavin with a miss over to the left. We'll have at least a tie ball game here. And that's what we'll have. Come on, let's go. Allison, another barn burner, 14 apiece. Yeah, this is uh, this is a long game so far, and it's not <laughs> even like I feel like it's not even close to being over. It's a heavyweight bout. <laughs> Absolutely, who wants it more? The numbers are rising on the All Cornhole Facebook feed. We are getting up there. Go like and share. If you don't like and you share this, then you won't be eligible to win. Again, that's only the all cornhole live feed. Ooh, Mike Dingus with a miss on the push there. Fisher, oh, he lets him off the hook. Fisher doesn't do that much. No. <laughs> he usually takes every point he can get. I'm telling you, he has, he has definitely proven that he belongs throwing with these big dogs. He certainly made a statement for that anyway. I'm talking about how long this game's been going on. We're getting we're getting pretty deep. This is 21 rounds. You uh could you pull up the, the PPRs maybe and let's I see what we got? Definitely can. I mean we're getting pretty deep. Let's see where those PPRs are. <laughs> Mike Lucas rolling that bag up to the top of the stack. They're stacked three bags deep now. This is hard to see directly from the overhead camera, but three bags deep they are. 
so Fisher leading this game in PPR with a 10.3. His partner throwing an 8.7. And both mics throwing in the nines. Not bad considering we've got <laughs> dirty bag, bag, dirty bag, muddy, muddy board type players right now. Oh. Although I've seen a few tournaments where Fisher Hamilton has thrown some PPRs that would just blow your mind. What does Mike do here? Well, he's the one that put the bag so high <laughs> on the stack. <laughs> so can, there's no way he can see the hole. Up That's he goes. Bad. Yeah, he knocks in two of his to one of Gavin's. In the contest for the bags, by the way, we're going to run it through the end of the hour. What, what a, a push. push! Gavin Kano saying all the talk about my partner Fisher, I can throw bags too. What a push! We're almost to 350, Mike. 17 14. That was for three. These guys came to play. If you want to win your set yourself, a set of all cornhole boards, go over to the All Cornhole Facebook page. Join that live feed, like it, share it, comment, hashtag All Cornhole Boards. And while, while you're there, we're giving away some bags. ACL Open 3, and the 3 is just simply, it's our third bag giveaway, ACL Open 3, and the name of someone influential to you in Cornhole. Again, your mentor. Someone that has impressed you. It could be your favorite pro. It could be your buddy, your, your, your partner that you play with all the time. Someone that you think has been a good influence on the game. No wrong answers, but that's for a set of bags. ACL Open 3, and then somebody that you admire in the game. Got to be done on the All Cornhole Facebook page. Are we giving some stuff away or what? Yes, we are. Great Going Cornhole, roll. free stuff. You can't beat it. That's going to put them on 20 with Mike off the board. Just make sure you like and share that you have to do that to be able to be eligible for those prizes. That's all we ask. <laughs> 20 to 14, Fisher and Gavin, one point away. Again, waiting for them, Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld in the king seat match. Beautiful roll shot. Mike Lucas has had several of those very what? pretty rolls. He was liking these new bags that they're throwing with this year. Oh, what? Yeah, all of these bags have to. I think as soon as he hits the board, they might go. Yeah, no. I think you have to assume that they're going to, and that you have to go with them. Yeah, if you're you're faced with trying to board it or trying to clean them all up, That'll you had to go for that shot, but it won't fall. Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Kano, huge win for those guys. The second one of the day for them. Another huge team going down. Yes. Into the loser bracket today. The upsets are coming fast and furious. <laughs> so they're on to the king seat match. Ryan Wiedenfeld and Jacob Foreman. We're going to take a quick break here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court, but don't go away. Let's not lose the viewers so we can give these boards and prizes away. We'll be back in just a couple minutes here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have another king seat matchup here, or the first of the king seat matchups here, I should say. Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain taking on Joe Neistat and Nico Morellis. This is for your bracket B king seat. Mike Morton here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court filling in temporarily for Allison. I've got Tom Stranger sitting in for a minute. What do you think of this matchup here, Tom? Did you see this coming? No. <laughs> I, I just simply no. I don't even know the two guys on the one side of the board. Well, I tell you what, they're making a name for themselves. Well, I, if For those of you that don't know them, they have made a splash recently. But if you didn't know them, you will now. Well, I don't. I have seen Justin Burton's name around, and Justin tells me how good these people are. So, Wow. All right, we have the knuckle tap. I thought we were going live, but I might have heard through the headphones one more. I guess we'll see. No, I think they're no, live. No, live. Yeah, it looks live. Logan has just been rock solid. Both Log Logan and Justin have been throwing phenomenal up here on the broadcast court. He comes up short with a bag there, though. Nico trying to make him pay with a three. Free bag here. And he does. That'll be three to Nico. The old 26-11. I think we Just. argue about who's more, <laughs> who that nickname is more appropriate for, yourself or myself. Justin coming up just a little shy there. It's a little too far left to really be a problem for Joe. It's a visual distraction, nothing more. Looks like Joe's just going to use it. Wow. Yeah, that, well, it got him. It got him. him. Jake Brandon, the curse is real. And now Joe's lane is kind of clogged up a little bit. Not really sure what he wants to do here. Going to step out to the edge of the carpet. Is he going to try to grab this and push it? It looks like he's going to. Ooh. I don't think Off the back, and suddenly a free bag now for Justin. If he can hit this shot, we'll still be knotted. Well, we'll be back to a knotted game. We'll be at 3-3, and he wow. does. I thought he could have made that other one fall. All right. Three to three here in our first king seat matchup. If you had these two teams in your king seat, raise your hand and be proud. Way to go. Way to call it. And can they also pick my lottery numbers for the weekend for Mega Millions? Right. It's either that or they're cornhole geniuses. So Neistat and Morellis knocked off uh, Ron Kugel and Gary Lewis. Duncan Klimmer and Brandon Jones. Emery Parker, Alan Rawls. Oh, James Baldwin and Cheyenne Renner to get here. I thought he was going to clog that hole, and he ends up with two. Let's look at the, the path that Burton Jr. and Chamberlain took. They beat Chad Nock and Austin Godfrey, Tom Walter, Stephen Ochoa, Matt Morton and Peyton Haynes. And then they knocked off Derek and Josh Holland. Wow. So were they in order, Mike, of how they beat them? Yes, that was in order. Sounds like uh, Peyton and Matthew made it pretty far against them, huh? They did. Good for them. They, went, they had a nice little run. Oh, wow. 
Joe not completely unhappy nah. with that shot. He knows he's got another bag. I still think he wanted to make it, but it's not out of play for him. Yeah, his, his facial reaction was like, okay, no yeah. big deal. <laughs> no big deal. I got this. Same as us, Mike. I mean, we miss a shot, right? Hmm. Wow. Not so gettable now, is it? <laughs> I don't We'll see what happens here. There's... I don't know. Logan's making it sound like they're in the control, but I think I think Joe could go two for one here. Yeah, it's. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Nothing goes. They're looking. Are they still moving? Are they still moving? They must be. They're looking at it. I can't see it moving. <laughs> We've got a slow they're, motion they're, fall. They are, they're still pointing. It's got to still be They've moving. They've got a I slow can't. motion fall going on down I feel here. Like I got a good view, and I can't see it moving at all. Everybody, either be still or jump, depending on what you want to happen here. All right, folks, we'll be right back after they, this bag. They finally give up on it. <laughs> wow. The score is going to stay five to three. In favor of Burton Jr. and Chamberlain. And everybody, don't forget about the two contests we have going on. Need you to go to the All Cornhole Facebook page. The All Cornhole Facebook page, if that's not where you're watching us from. Like and share that. That's the first part of eligibility. And then we got two things going on. We're giving away a set of All Cornhole boards if we can get up to 500 viewers. One set of all cornhole boards will go to a lucky winner if we can get to 500. To win that, comment on that all cornhole Facebook page. All cornhole boards. Hashtag all cornhole boards. That's all you have to do to be eligible to win a set of boards. That and help us get to 500 concurrent viewers. We're also going to give away a set of cornhole bags. And to do that... You simply need to do what I mentioned earlier with the like and share, but also on the All Cornhole Facebook page. I need you to type ACL Open 3. It's the third contest of the night. ACL Open 3. And the name of somebody influential in the cornhole world that you respect and admire. That's it. No wrong answer. All right. Two contests going on. Set of bags. Set of boards. Make sure you like and share and participate. Really good back by Joe. Just a little too deep there from Justin Burton Jr. Mike, we're only sitting at about 290 viewers. You got to get up to 500. 500 for some boards. We gave them away last week, right? We did give away a set last week. You got an ACL open, big names here. I mean, people might not know all these guys here, but they're in the king seat at an ACL open. Who do we need to call out? Who's out there that can get us some uh, viewers on here? <laughs> We're doing everything we can. We're going to get there. Yeah. Logan Chamberlain with a little too much speed off to the right. Flies off the back. He's going to have to hit a shot here to minimize. That's going to be another five. Oh. Just like that, we go from five apiece to 15-5 in favor of Neistat and Morales. Joe with a very nicely placed blocker. Push and replace. Again, that's, I like to say, textbook. If you were to draw up a push and replace, that's what you would draw up.
cover bag there from Burton. I don't think he's real happy with that. A little, no. little to the right. So now Joe's going to step out to the left and try to push this. All right, he gets the bag on the board in the hole. Leaves a corner of the push bag in the hole to possibly clean up with bag number four. <laughs> Justin Burton Jr. That's not what he wanted to do, but he just made it very difficult to clean this bag up. Those BGs are looking mighty sticky at this uh, time of night on this board over here. It's calling for the shoot it. Why not? Right. You only live once. Up he goes. Oh, off the back. It's two more. Mike, it's your favorite part, looking at all these names of people they're looking I up love to. It. I've seen Joe. I've seen Catherine Kennedy Howard, Frank Modlin. Somebody did a Stranger Danger shout out. but I absolutely loved reading the, through the comments last weekend when we did that. Just It was just so good to so refreshing to see all the positive names that are out there. Yeah. Some nice rolling going on here. Wow, that played visual tricks on my eyes. It went in the hole and my eyes didn't even see it. It went so clean. Ooh, Nico raining him down. He's feeling it. And that's oh, going to do, do it. it. Joe Niestet, Nico Morellis moving on to the king seat. Congratulations to them. Logan yeah. Chamberlain, Justin Burton Jr., not done yet. They have been putting on a show here, and something tells me they're going to come back with a little more fire in their belly the next time we see them. Mike, so, I, I love these opens. How many times are we surprised at a team or singles player that just comes out of nowhere? Absolutely. Not, nobody's watch list. I've seen all the watch lists. I didn't see any of these guys on anybody's watch list this weekend. Well, we're going to take a quick break here. When we come back, we're going to get to see another king seat matchup. Two brackets here. We just watched the first king seat matchup. We're going to have the second one coming your way here in just a moment. Stay with us here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court.
shot of the game and the shot of the tournament so far and a performance in a game for the ages. All right, Cornhole Nation, welcome back to Triadelphia, West Virginia. Yet again, we've got some more great cornhole action in front of you. We have Jacob Foreman, Ryan Wiedenfeld taking on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano in your king seat matchup of bracket A of tier one doubles. I'll say this again. If you had this at the beginning of the bracket as your finals, for the bracket, raise your hand and be proud. Or finals are the winner's side of the bracket anyway. Uh, this is the one I picked, Mike. Amazing, amazing <laughs> run by both of these teams. No disrespect towards them, but there were a lot of big names in the field that they've taken down on the way. One of which, Guy Nation. Falling to Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. Tom, they fell behind 17-4. to four. Um, Didn't throw in the towel. Came back and won. Yeah, I heard about that because they... Play, the guys came and played a team after that. Stranger Washington, I happen to know, and decided they were really ready to play. Yeah, they were They're upset. coming back. They were. They played really well that next game. But meanwhile, the other team in this matchup, Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld, jump out to the quick 2-0 yeah. lead. I met Ryan at that the uh, Iowa Quad Cities Open last year. Man, I, I knew that kid was going to be good. Yeah, they took down Frank Modlin and Austin Schlobaum prior to this, and before that, Storm Hogue and Jacob Trzinski. So their path, not much easier, if any easier. I don't think there's any easy path today. Oh, no. There's, In any bracket. There's not. Any tier. Nice roll shot there from Gavin. Man, he had a push shot a few minutes ago. That was just amazing. Taking his time, staring this shot down. Oh, a little long. Yeah, a little long. Maybe he stared at it a little too long. Going to be three to nothing now in favor of Foreman and Wiedenfeld. And I'm going to try not to muddy up the middle of this match with this talk, but reminder, we're giving away some stuff, some boards. Again, though, if you're on the ACL page, please, at least, at least for the moment, if you want to win some stuff, click on over to the All Cornhole Facebook stream. That's where we're running the contest. Like and share. Hashtag all cornhole boards in the comments, and if we get up to 500 concurrent viewers, we'll give away a set of all cornhole boards, okay? You'll be eligible if you like and share and type hashtag all cornhole boards Mike, in I the think comments. We, I think we can do it because we have 270 on the all cornhole right now, and there's almost 450 people over here on the other side. Big time airmail there. Fisher Hamilton, 7-3 to three now. Taking the lead. The other thing we're doing is we're giving away some bags. Again, you have to be on the All Cornhole website for these comments. In order to win the bags, ACL open three in the comments. And then followed by the name of somebody influential to you in Cornhole. Just a positive memory. Give me, give me a shout out to someone that deserves a shout out. The person that taught you the game, the someone that someone that coached you, someone that runs the local blind draws tirelessly, your favorite pro, who inspired you? No wrong answers, just ACL Open Three, and then the name of that person, along with a like and share on the All Cornhole Facebook page, makes you eligible. Okay, 
So I'm going to stop talking about it. You know the mission. You know the mission. Like and share. Help us out here. Spread the word. All right. Like they're, they're picking up another four. Yeah, 11 to three now after falling behind three to nothing early. A couple big frames now for Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. Again, they had a big win against Sky Nation. I'll remember that for a long time. <laughs> they both have their own stacks here. There you go. Push through that. Ooh. Fisher bounced an airmail off the back there. He's not happy with himself. A little frustrated. Wow, that's not. Get some help there. Sometimes when things aren't going your way, nothing goes your way. Yep, 14 to 3 now. I like Ryan sitting down there. That's 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 my kind of style. <laughs> He's a little young for that, though, don't you think, Mike? Just a little. Just but, a little. Hey. Takes a lot out of you. Yeah. Again, the winner of this match will hold the king seat here. Did you see this coming, Mike? These four youngins? No, we talked about that a second ago. If you pick this matchup for your king seat matchup, you need to raise your hand, right? raise both hands, yes. and, and take a bow. Where's your crystal ball? That's right. <clears throat> they also should be playing Mega Millions and Powerball this weekend. Right? <laughs> Every week. No, they should be buying my Mega Millions <laughs> and Powerball ticket. Like I said, nice I met, bag I met there. Ryan at this last open I ever played, which was about a year and a half ago. And he's he's good. They're just not getting the bags to fall their way this game. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's I see lots of people commenting on the ACL Facebook live feed, all cornhole boards. You have to do that on the all cornhole live feed you got to go over to their facebook page and comment on that live feed in order to win those boards we're going to use a, a random comment picker to pick the winner and if your comment is on the other is on the acl page glad you watched appreciate you joining us but our comment picker is not going to pick you unless you're on the all cornhole facebook page that's that's why we ask you to do that so we got 480 people in the ACL watching, and we got 300 on the all cornhole. If we just get a couple hundred to move over, then we can give away some boards. Should we just tell the players to stop for a moment so everybody can take a break and jump <laughs> over? <laughs> no, you could just make it little, <laughs> switch, and then make the other one big. That's, I know we can do it. That's more we, technical than I could handle. We gave away a set of boards last week. We gave away several sets of bags last week. We're doing it again this week. We're glad you're watching. We appreciate you being here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. We're having a great time bringing you this action. And, man, has the action been exciting. This has been a topsy-turvy, crazy open. Great cornhole being played, but some really unusual results. Some big upsets. A lot of the names you see all the time. Yep. Heading down into the loser bracket. And even prior to that, some big names not quite making it to Tier 1. Uh, there was too many in my Tier 2 bracket that I didn't care to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't make it long enough to see them, but there were some big names down. I didn't even look in the Tier 2 bracket. I haven't checked it out. Yeah, there were some big names that, that you know didn't make it through the talented field here. I then didn't feel as bad about myself. Oh, that roll is too deep up the board off the back for Jacob Foreman. And we're now at 19 to 3. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano, one match away from the king's seat here. We have someone in the comments claiming that they picked this 100% correctly. Well, absolutely. What is their name? Let me see. Jake Brannon. Jake. <laughs> Absolutely crazy uh, if you if you think I'm gonna believe that. Especially if you're Jake. Nice roll shot. Well I just claimed that I did a uh, announcer's curse, so the announcer's curse is real. See? 
Or the announcer Jinx. Jinx, curse. They're very similar. They are very similar. Little conversation here. What about what Ryan wants to do? Go around. Ryan gave every signal the cut around, the up and over, the whatever. And oh, what a, oh, what a big side airmail. Back of the hole, just like they drew it up. And the score is going to stay 19 to 3 on the strength of that back of the hole Ryan Wiedenfeld airmail. Beautiful. There's a miss by Jacob Foreman, and that might do it if Gavin Kano can do the proverbial four-bagger for the win. They will move on to the king seat. He looks a little relaxed when he's throwing, too. <laughs> Don't you think? He just looks chill. Like, I was like, eh, let's just throw it in the hole. Who cares? He does look very calm. Right. It's... I wonder if the nerves are hidden deep beneath. That's... Definitely trouble there for Jacob. He can't afford to give up two points, and he has two bags outside the lane. Go and roll, and that That's, bag's yeah. as good as in. And this would take a miracle shot here from Jacob Foreman. He's got to land on that red bag and ride it in without taking one of Gavin's white bags. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> He Just trying to bag. hurt somebody yeah, with that one. <laughs> well, congratulations. Wow. Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Kano, keep the train rolling on to the king seat here. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll bring you some more action here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Board in just a few minutes. Thank you for watching.
everywhere I go, the people really want to know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. Hurry up quick, El Jefe's coming soon. Sit up straight when she enters the room. Be enthused, but don't look too amused. This is a queendom, please respect her rule. Smile on the face, what in my place, but at gully on cyber space. Let's pump brace, let's be frank. Running after him when you're the chase. You are the catch and he's the net. How quick we do, we also get to honor these small policies. My darling, you are the empress queen. Man, respect or he'll neglect. You are the wind beneath his wings. You are the season, you are the reason why this world can breathe. Giving sons eyes to see and daughters dreams to believe. Anything less, less than the best for you is high treason queen. Hurry up quick, El Jefe's coming soon. Sit up straight when she enters the room. Be enthused, but don't look too amused. This is her queendom. Please respect her rule. So what a shot and what a round for Cheyenne Renner. Allcornhole.com has the largest online selection of cornhole bags for players of all levels. Through years of research and development, Allcornhole.com is the perfect bags for even pro-level players. With over four unique series to choose from, including Game Changers, All Slides, Slide Rights, and Steadies, you'll be sure to find the right bags to dominate the competition. Whether you're looking for bags for family gatherings, competitive league night, or the pro circuit, visit allcornhole.com today to find the perfect series of bags for you. I go, the people really want to know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. Hurry up quick, El Jefe's coming soon. Sit up straight when she enters the room. Be enthused, but don't look too amused. This is a queendom, please respect her rule. Smile on the face, put in my place, but at gully on cyber space. Let's pump brace, let's be frank. Running after him when you're the chase. You are the catch and he's the net. How quick we do, we all forget to honor these small policies. My darling, you are the empress queen. Man, respect or he'll neglect. You are the wind beneath his wings. You are the season, you are the reason why this world can breathe. Giving sons eyes to see and daughters dreams to believe. Anything less, less than the best for you is high treason queen. Hurry up. 
like quick and half face coming soon. I sit up straight when she enters the room. Be enthused, but don't look too amused. This is her queendom. Please respect her rule. Now what a shot and what a round for Cheyenne Renner. Allcornhole.com has the largest online selection of cornhole bags for players of all levels. Through years of research and development, allcornhole.com is the perfect bags for even pro-level players. With over four unique series to choose from, including game changers, all slides, slide rights, and steadies, you'll be sure to find the right bags to dominate the competition. Whether you're looking for bags for family gatherings, competitive league night, or the pro circuit, visit allcornhole.com today to find the perfect series of bags for you. I need all the wins, yeah. yeah. Ain't no L's, I gotta get a no power to quit, yeah. yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah. yeah. Better move out the way cause I'm coming with hard to hit. My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all of this. You, yeah. better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out. You, yeah. better move, you might get knocked out. tournament so far and a performance in a game for the ages. All right, Cornhole fans, welcome back. We, I know it was an extended break. We had no matches available. We're getting that deep into both brackets. We had to wait for a match to finish to get something up on our court. We, we can't stop them in the middle of their game and say, hey, guys, can you finish your game over here? <laughs> <laughs> they'd, be, they'd be mad at us. Yeah, so the game finally ended that we needed to end, and that was Mark Richards and Philip Lopez Jr. taking down Frank Modlin and Austin Schlobaum to get to this match here where they'll take on Eric Zockline and Tanner Halbert. So they're taking their down and backs. They literally just got to the boards. We'll get the action started here in just a moment. But uh, Allison, I see you have the bracket open. You want to uh, walk everyone through who's alive still? The winner of this game will go on to play Jacob Foreman and Ryan... What's his Wiedenfeld. name? Wiedenfeld. Like, it doesn't show his whole name on the bracket. Ryan W. Ryan, yeah. And then Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano waiting in the king seat. That is bracket A. Bracket B, we have Emery Parker, Alan Rawls, currently playing James Baldwin and Cheyenne Renner. Winner of that goes on to play Logan Chamberlain, Justin Burton Jr. Winner of that goes on to try and double dip Joe Neistead and Nico Morellas. All right, and now these bags are live. We did have the bag spin and the knuckle tap. Mark Richards getting it underway. We block there from Tanner in Mark's lane. The whole board is Mark's lane. He's showed us that. <laughs> Yeah, Mark's, Mark's lane is two feet wide. <laughs> See, look at Sam. that. Great job, yeah. And sometimes it's hard to tell with these lefties what's in their way. Right, true. They have a different angle than, than most of the players do. Mark not happy with that shot. Skips past the right side of the hole. Tanner not able to capitalize. <laughs> Yes, the Michaels are out. Tanner and Easy put them out the game before this one. <laughs> the Michaels. Mark, Mike, Mark almost forgot to put the score in because he was not 
not real happy with the way he threw that last bag. <laughs> Probably I want to say about 10 teams left total between the two brackets, give or take. Uh, nope, there's eight. Eight teams left between the two brackets. We're getting Four right down to it. Wait, but there's another Mike Morton's mouth was off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was within I was within a standard a deviance of twenty percent. Jeez, right in the middle of the bell curve, Mike. Don't forget about the scatter diagram. So All I right. asked uh, Philip Lopez Jr. yesterday how it was winning the shootout in doubles without his normal partner, and he said, "You know, it was bittersweet." And then Mark went on last night to punch his ticket into the double shootout series. And then I, I saw him this morning in the elevator, and I was like, well, now I don't have to feel bad anymore. Yeah, they're going to probably both, play each other in the first round. In. <laughs> Easy oh, with back-to-back -back air mails there. Fast start for Eric Zockline. He counters the two points that Mark Richards scored. We're at two to two. Again, we've been we've been saying this a few times. Just want to emphasize, please, if you want to win our prizes, you need to be commenting in the all cornhole Facebook stream. Okay? Pay attention to which stream you're on. I personally am glad you're just watching. I don't care which stream. But we can't give you any prizes if you're not commenting in the right section because we're going to use an uh, uh, auto comment picker to pick the winners. So make sure you come over to the All Cornhole Facebook stream and enter our contests. Hashtag All Cornhole Boards or hashtag Open3 and the name of someone influential to you in the game of cornhole. Those are the two contests going on. Boards for the All Cornhole Boards comment. Bags for the ACL Open 3 Someone Influential comment. Just have to like and share within the All Cornhole stream as well as type that in the comments. That'll make you eligible. Free stuff. Might as well, right? In order to give the boards away, that, that will be triggered by 500 viewers. If we can get to 500 concurrent viewers on that All Cornhole page, that will trigger a board giveaway. Meanwhile, these guys are just stacking bags in the hole. What's the over-under for the rounds here? All right, I'm going to ask you first, Allison. How many rounds do you think this is going to go? What round are we on? Four. Mm, going 16. Tom, what do you think? 23. <laughs> I was going to say 20. It's probably, it's probably I know it sounds cheap, but I was going to say 24. I'm sticking with 24. So there you have it from us, what we think. If you want, go ahead and comment how many rounds you think this match is going to go. Let's test your prognostication skills. I love saying prognostication. It's a fun word to say. I don't like that you just did the uh, Price is Right outbid me by one after you knew what I said. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to have to have you write it on a piece of paper so I know you're really well, going to say 24. That's the advantage of asking the question. You get to go last. So we're all in agreement this is going to be a pretty lengthy game. Pretty good mess in front of the hole. Let's see who can finish best. Let's see, Mark was content to play it safe with that bag. It kicked a little bit on him. I'm not sure if it really matters with that whole mess of humanity in front of the hole. Easy giving Tanner some instructions here. Bag. 
Great job cleaning up no most. Was stay. <laughs> cleaning up most of the humanity in front of the hole. Mark able to get in for the wash. That Bernie Neighbors is professional cornhole right there. And I think it's that left hand cut he's got. The right hander would have put it straight in, and Mark's cuts pretty bad. Easy with first throw. And a two point edge early here. Lopez decides to go block. Easy cleans it up, not a problem. Both players dialed in intently on the hole right now. They're focused in full effect. Mike, if it goes like this, we all might have to add more rounds to our number. <laughs> no, we don't get to change our number because if it goes even more than this, I win. And right, right there is a Bet MGM Casino double four bagger, the first one of this game. I meant sixteen plus fifteen. <laughs> plus four, plus two. <laughs> four to two is your score. Zockline Halbert winning what looks to be a slow march to twenty one. And Phillip's doing my move over there, sitting on the uh, Zuka bag in between rounds. Take my load off. Yeah. Don't want to use all your energy up. Mark Richards cleaning it all up again. Both players three bags deep into their four-bagger. Tanner Halbert gets his. He's happy about it. He celebrates his four-bagger. Mark Richards gives us another double four-bagger brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Now, Tanner's excited, but I've been watching his other games and in an in-between sit and a go, and he was throwing plenty of four-baggers. <laughs> Don't feel sorry no, for him, right? No, not at all, especially when they're still winning. Round number eight. Well, we're halfway to Allison's number, and it's four to two. out on the edge of the carpet here. Oh, great job. He had two bags to finish the job with. Gets the job halfway done with the first bag. Still got a bag in his hand to clean that up with. <laughs> Phil Lopez says, I'm going to make it difficult on you anyway. Drop the slow bag right in front of you. Easy says, hey. I'll play it safe then. You think Lopez Jr. dares to try to hit an airmail or a cut here? Or, I haven't seen him take a the lot, wash. but I'm going to say yes. He's going to airmail it. Oh. Nope, he took the wash. Played it safe. Mike, I'm going to have to leave. I have obviously no idea what I'm talking about. You have no folks. prognostication no. skills? I'm going to say no because I don't <laughs> know what that word is or how to pronounce it. <laughs> Round number nine, still sitting at four to two. Tanner Halbert does open the door here for some points for Mark Richards. It doesn't seem to matter with Richards whether you open it, close it, 
leave it halfway. He's still going to put that bag in the hole. Mark with yet another four-bagger. So now we're at a whopping four to four. Mark Richards throwing a 10.8 right now. Tanner Halbert at an even 10. Eric Zockline at an even 10. Philip Lopez at an even nine right now. Round number 10. Again, the winner of this will take on the winner of Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld. And the winner of that will get an opportunity to try the double dip on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. That is for bracket A. Bag spun out of the hole there, almost caught the lip. Heading to the turn, even on the board. Lopez Jr. slides it in for a 10. Zockline aiming to do the same here and wash it out. And the slow, steady march continues as they're still even at four. Round number 10. Well, Mike, an update in bracket B. Emery Parker and Alan Rawls just beat Cheyenne Renner and James Baldwin. Wow. To go on to face Burton Jr. and Chamberlain. Good for Emery. A name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And then over in that bracket, waiting in the king seat is... Uh, Neistat and Morellis, right? Yeah. So if anybody picked Emory Parker and Allen Rawls to make it to the uh, third place game. Or further. Uh, right. Or further. I mean, that's at that minimum. It's been an unusual weekend. They can also buy weekend. my lottery tickets. It's been an unusual weekend. It really has. We're still early. We're not done yet. We got singles action coming at you tomorrow. Meanwhile, we do have Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards taking a whopping two-point lead here in this death march. Twelve rounds. Six to four. Points are at a premium. Pretty good crowd here. Yeah, people have been clearing out, but they're all moving over here. I feel like 75% of the people left in the building are standing around this board watching this action. I mean, why not? Tanner Halbert does not hesitate to give Easy the green light for a backside airmail here. Up he goes. Misses it left. That's going to be a point. It's one point. 7-4 now. Mike, would you like me to just concede now that my 23 is not going to stand? <laughs> I'm willing to say Allison is already done, and I'm assuming I'm going to be done. 
I'm looking through the bracket to see who knocked these teams into the losers bracket. Looks like uh, the number one seed coming into this out of doubles rounders was Michael Lucas Jr. and Michael Dingus. They knocked Philip Lopez and Mark Richards into the losers bracket 21 to 8. Also knocked Eric Zocklein and Tanner Halbert into the loser's <laughs> bracket. So Mike Lucas Jr. and Mike Dingus knocked both of these teams into the loser's bracket and then made their own exit. I'm surprised at the exit, but I'm not surprised those two. We watch them all the time. They've been together a long time. They play well. They know each other. The bag switch this year has really seemed to help them. Fourteen to fourteen. I'm sorry, seven to seven. seven. Fourteen rounds deep. I was trying to do some quick <laughs> math like I always do. We're averaging about a point a round. So are we gonna have to change this to uh the forties, Mike? Yeah, it might be if it ends up being twenty one twenty. Lopez, one of the more deliberate throwers in the game. He takes his time each bag. Eric Zockline with a four-bagger gives a little fist pump. Phillip will finish with a 10, and that will give EZ and Tanner a 9-7 lead now. It's getting crazy, Mike. Crazy, so. two points at a time. Tanner just threw my favorite throw, the uh, get up. Bag listened. <laughs> and don't forget the contests. Most important thing I want to stress is if you want to participate in the contests, you need to be on the all cornhole Facebook stream. That's the only way we're going to see your comments for the contest. All right? Make sure you're on the All Cornhole Facebook stream. Hashtag All Cornhole Boards. And if we get up to 500 viewers, we'll give away a set of All Cornhole Boards. The other contest, type ACL Open 3 in the name of anyone influential to you in Cornhole. And we will enter you for a set of all cornhole bags. But again, both of those, you have to like and share and make the comment on the all cornhole Facebook stream. We're sitting at 340. We need another 160 or so, Mike. We can do it. I shared it. I know I now have like a thousand friends on Facebook. Some of them have to jump on here and watch. It's free stuff. You give away free stuff, people will come. He being very deliberate here. Again, waiting for them. Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld waiting for the winner of that. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. Tanner's trying to help that bag cut towards the hole. He pointed immediately trying to help it out. Maybe it'll work. It's almost like the uh, get up. Yeah. Philip Lopez, great job getting around it. Doesn't, doesn't help it at all. Not really in his lane. 
misfire for EZ. And just as they jumped out to a four-point lead at 11-7, to seven, Philip Lopez has an opportunity to get those four points right back here if he can sneak in the right side. He goes in, but he does take EZ's bag. That'll be a two, 11-9, giving Mark Richards first throw now. Richards leading the pack here with a 10-6-3 as far as PPR. Doesn't look like he's going to hurt that number with no. this round. Mike, I know you say there's no wrong answers, but I like some answers better than others. We just got an Alan Rockwell, who, of course, influenced many of us. Absolutely. He was one of the favorite players. I know my son played with him a lot. The kind of guy you wanted to be on the other end of the board from you and around you and be a face of the sport. Absolutely. Again, like, like we were saying, there are no wrong answers for that, for this bag giveaway. Just whomever you think was influential. Or just deserves credit. It could be your favorite pro for that matter. It could be your favorite announcer, Jake Brandon, maybe. What a tight game we have now. Two points for EZ. Now 13-11, EZ and Halbert over Lopez and Richards. Round 19. Well, good thing I already conceded because I don't imagine four is going to do it. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Watch the all cornhole broadcast court. If you didn't know what you were watching, if you just followed a link here, this is ACL Open number 16 here from Triadelphia, West Virginia, the last ACL Open of the season. This is your Open Doubles Tier 1 Brackets. Down to the final four of both Bracket A and Bracket B. We have ourselves another double four-bagger brought to us by BetMGM Casino. Mike, I wish I could learn how to play and just give up twos. That would be nice against this level of competition. Instead of throwing a two, which I did today. EZ has really turned it on here the last half of the season, I must say. A little bit of a, I'm not sure if shaky is the right start to his season, but a lot of expectations coming in, and he probably wasn't living up to his own. Right. But uh, over the last few big tournaments, he has showed up big time. You got oh, another one, a good the no-no throw. Yeah. No, Mike, I agree. I've been watching EZ, some of his games, this event, and the last couple. And you can see there's a different, like a different light, a different determination that, like, he's right. back. Like, 
if anybody thinks it's easy to step into this pro division and make an impact, I mean, just because we've had several players do it this season does not make it easy to do. Mark Richards, of course, being one of the best examples of that, co-number one player in the world as a rookie, just absolutely lighting it up. He and Alex Rawls, another rookie, the co-number ones. Crazy. Yeah. This time the no doesn't work for easy, no. and it hangs out to the right. Well, I think it's because he said no. He didn't say no, no. He needed the extra no yeah. on there, yeah. Philip Lopez almost mm. collects his bag, but he'll take two points. And we're 13-13. Every game on this court recently has been nothing short of a barn burner. Just absolutely great cornhole right down to the wire. Right. Something looked like it was going on. That, that should have been the four, Mike, <laughs> to break the ones and twos. They're talking to these bags. Tanner tells that bag to get up. Doesn't get all the way to the Not hole, the but way. it doesn't finish bad. See if he can get a push here. He I'd does. Yes. He does. That looks good. He's got the right side of the hole dominated with two bags. Richards, one bag on the left. Now two. Mark does have one bag out of play. Tanner can make him pay here somehow. Great job. That is a great job. Put that bag right behind it. Oh. <laughs> we might get a crooked number. Yeah. It'd be a heck of a shot if he could sneak in here without Mark. But he'll take four, four and be perfectly content. And we start to near the finish line, 17-13. Oh, my God, Mike. If there is another four, number 23 could win. And I, but I already conceded, I guess. Huh? You did concede. I'm going to call you on a technicality. <laughs> you did concede. <laughs> They're still talking to these bags. Easy let that one go and said no. Maybe he needs to be reminded that it was actually no no that works. Beautiful bag by Philip Lopez. All right, Tom, where are we on viewers? We are... About 370. All right, come on, guys. Like and share. Let's get in here and give away a set of boards. I need to get. I need you to come up to 500. Make sure you're watching from the All Cornhole Facebook page. That's that's where we're counting the viewers. Maybe I need to say this. If you don't get to 500, I'll keep the boards. Nah, I don't think that'll happen. I'd like them though. Does that mean you'll start throwing again, Mike? I have or to start throwing again at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting to see Mike Morton in a blind draw win. You might wait a long time for the win. <laughs> All right, two points there for Philip Lopez, 17 to 15. I don't expect this game to come down to anything other than uh, at least a 19-19 finish. Or 1919 before it finishes, I should say. I don't know. Tanner's got a good opportunity here for some points. Oh no, those bags are. I know, but he's not. Yeah. Not I mean, they're not out of play, but Tanner keeps making it more difficult for him. That he does. Oh, that. Wait a minute. Yeah, that was that was the biggest error of this game was Mark Richards missing that block. See what Tanner can do here. Uh, he misses. The boards are sticky. Things, those bags just bounced off. Another opportunity for the block, and Mark not happy with that placement. 
I don't think a push is going to work again, Mike. He's got to push two of them hard, ah, and they say, will not they go. They not going to budge. We're going to call that round PPR killer because these players were lighting it up on PPR until that round. I would have thought with that round he would have airmailed after missing the push the first time and then jamming up on him. 17-15 now. This is easily the longest match of our day. We are now in round 24. Like they just wanted us all to be wrong. Both players three bags deep to their four bagger heading to the turn here. Lopez tries for his four bagger first. He gets it. Can easy answer with another four bagger. Of course he can. That's another double four bagger brought to you by BetMGM Casino. I didn't want to say yes and do the jinx. <laughs> So did you pick 25 rounds, Mike? He was 24. You, and you were? 23. 23. So closest is uh, Mike. I'll take the win. <laughs> I need him any way I can get him. Tanner disappointed that bag kick to the back of the hole there. Let's see if it wiggles. Oh, oh yeah, it got back. a little help there. Two bags going in at the same time helped pull it in. just watching Tanner's last frame over there at the director's table and I can't believe none of those bags moved they, as hard as no, he threw yeah. that bag absolutely oh, oh what drag. an airmail yes, drag right. boy that bag was pretty deep in the hole but you kept thinking one of those slides was going to loosen it up and jar it into the hole no dice so Tanner decides on the last bag he was going to go get it the hard way and he did authoritatively Another double four bagger brought to you by MG, Bet MGM Casino. The other bracket might be all the way done by the time we finish this match. They're holding it. <laughs> yeah. Mike, we hit over 400. Let's Less go. Less than 100 to go. Like and share, boards are at stake. Just make sure you're doing it from the all cornhole page. Big time airmail there from EZ. He's feeling himself. If you don't, if you don't make your comments on the all cornhole page, we're not going to be able to put it in the random comment picker, so you won't be oh. eligible. Tanner's asking easy to uh, get him out of here. Get us out get of this game, please. Heading to the last two bags of the frame here. Easy showing three. Needs four for the win. Oh. oh wait a minute. <laughs> hey, just put Hold it on, on for the win. I'm going to let, yeah, gonna yeah. let, let Tanner the make the authoritative call here, but I'm pretty sure on the board will be four yep. and enough for the win. That will be correct. There it is. There we go. Got him out of here. A hard-earned win for Tanner Halbert and Eric Zockline. They're going to move on to face Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld in the second and third place match. Shout out to Mark Richards and Philip Lopez Jr. They played a whale of a game. Went 26 rounds. 
We'll take a quick break here while we get the players set up on the court. We'll bring you another match in just 60 seconds. Don't go 16. anywhere. We just got the we just got the viewership up. So stick with us. 431. 431. Don't go away. All right, fans, we didn't go anywhere. We are still here, and we are getting ready to bring you another match. This is Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain, taking on Emery Parker and Alan Rawls with the big win. I'm going to let Allison take you all through what's left of the brackets. This is the loser bracket final for bracket B. Winner of this game will go on to play Joe Neistat and Nico Morales. They will have to be double dipped if you want to win this bracket. Over in bracket A, we have Jacob Foreman and Ryan taking on Easy and Tanner. Winner of that goes on to play, to play Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano, and they will have to be double dipped. So that's the, uh, the loser bracket final going on on board four over there. So the brackets were, I think, about even for a little while in that long marathon match here. One of them was a game behind, and yeah. then they, got, they had time to catch up. Yeah. So only three teams left now in each bracket. Allen and Emery throwing the Celtics. Super slick bags. They had the big upset. Who did they just knock off? I'm not sure. They had a big upset. I wouldn't call it a big upset. Maybe not a big upset, but it was, it was an upset. Just in case anyone's wondering, they oh, just beat James Baldwin could, and Cheyenne Renner. <laughs> I couldn't remember who it was. Yeah. I literally couldn't remember who it was. That, that's who it was, Mike. There's too many team names be thrown, <laughs> been thrown around. I, are these bags live? They this, are live. These bags are live. I was about to say, the scoreboard is up and running yeah it was a tight game so how about this alan rawls making a deeper run than his brother alex along with trey birchfield hey alan rawls also winning an open this year that's right in singles so Let's see if these guys can take down another uh bigger name team Getting right down to the nitty-gritty. Six teams left here, three in each bracket. We appreciate you tuning in, watching the all-cornhole broadcast court. Let's check out our numbers. Here at ACL Open 16 in Triadelphia, West Virginia, the last Open of the year. I can't believe the year's almost over. We're going to be at Worlds in a couple weeks. Whole week of cornhole fun. 5 nothing lead here for Burton Jr. and Chamberlain. They've been getting off to fast starts every time we've seen them. When did Emory start the Maudlin March? 
<laughs> I don't he, know. He used to not uh, throw that way. We're going to give away a set of bags. The bags will be given away to someone who likes and shares the All Cornhole Facebook stream and comments ACL Open 3 and the name of someone influential to them in the cornhole world. There's no right answers, no wrong answers. Just someone you find influential, your favorite pro, favorite local player, a mentor, a director, some of the ACL staff maybe even, whoever you think is influential. So ACL Open 3, make sure you're on the, on the All Cornhole Facebook stream. That's the only way we can give that prize away to you. That's where our random comment picker is going to pick the winner. Also going to give away a set of boards if you can help us get up to 500 concurrent viewers. We haven't gotten there yet. We have not. We are at 381. We have to hit 500 on the All Cornhole Facebook page. So if you're watching on the ACL Facebook page and you want to switch on over to the All Cornhole Facebook page, if we can get that to 500, we're going to be giving away a set of boards. Just type hashtag All Cornhole Boards. That's all you got to do. Just, again, make sure you're on the right stream. Make sure you're on the All Cornhole stream. I really... I'm happy that you're watching from either page. That's perfectly fine. But if you want to win something, you're going to have to go to the thread that's giving away the prize. And that would be all Cornhole Facebook page. Again, Burton Jr. and Chamberlain, they've just been fast starting every game they've been up here. And we've seen them, what, three or four matches? Yeah, we've seen them a lot today. They took down Matthew. Matthew Morton and Peyton Haynes were making a pretty good run until they ran into these two. I think everyone might have been making a good run until they ran into these two. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, we're climbing. We're getting close to 400 on the All Cornhole page. All right. I have faith. Let's give them away. Come on. He's asking him to step out and go through all those bags. And worst case scenario, if you don't win anything, you get to watch some great cornhole. So how about that? Look oh, at what a great bag. shot. Slow motion. Emery going after his bag. That might cost him four points there going after that. And he is able to finish with a four bagger. Let's see what Emery does with his last bag. Going to give up four. 14 nothing. All right, we're over 400. Again, if you are just starting to watch, make sure you're watching on the All Cornhole Facebook page. If we get up to 500 viewers over there, we're going to give away a set of cornhole boards. So head on over to the All Cornhole Facebook page. And while you're, while you're there, enter the bag contest as well. ACL Open 3 and the name of somebody influential to you in cornhole. That's all. Your favorite person in cornhole that you think deserves a little recognition, a little shout-out. It's really fun to go through the comments and read all of the, the names that we see in there. I see Emery's wife's watching. He's going to step out and go after that bag. Not able to get it. Allen may be able to pick up a couple of points here. He will. He's going to get him on the board with two points, 14-2. He 
Let's see what the veteran Emery Parker can do here. They need a spark. He goes blocker. Someone's asking if I play cornhole in the comments. I do. Not as much as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Emery going up and misses Ooh. it off the back. Little short. Got a little trampoline action. Justin now stepping all the way out to the edge of the carpet. Get a better angle at this push. Pretty good shot. We're up to 4.30, Mike. We're going to do it. I know we're going to do it. I have faith. I see people still commenting on the ACL Facebook page. Hashtag all cornhole boards. You cannot win if you're watching on the ACL Facebook page. You have to go over to the all cornhole Facebook page and comment on that live stream. We are live on two places. You got to be in the all cornhole. Again, the reason for that, we're using an automated random name picker. Needs to be, oh, beautiful airmail there from Emery. Cleans up a nice mess in front of the hole there. Going to pick up three, making it 17-2. We're climbing, Mike. 440. We get there, quick screenshot. Oh yeah! Snap! We got it. Do you know how many screenshots I know, I'm going to have I know. in my I, inbox now? I had, I got a few last week as well. Uh, me too. Hey, we hit 500. Here's the proof. <laughs> I mean, come on! All cornhole boards. You know how great a board they make, and we're giving them away, shipped to your house. Just for watching Cornhole and helping share the word. Just like and share and hashtag all Cornhole boards in the comments. Again, all Cornhole Facebook, Facebook stream. Page. I'm telling you, Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain have been nothing short of impressive all day long. I agree. Did not know them before this weekend. Definitely know them now. Four sixty. Head on over to the All Cornhole Facebook page. Hashtag All Cornhole Boards. Emery Parker with an opportunity to throw first. Just a slightly to the left. See Miss Rockwell trying to, to win some boards over there. All right. Supporting and watching. All right, Kathy. Emery with a big airmail there. Let's see what Justin does with cleaning this up. Oh, he misses to the left. Emery might have something cooking here. Alan's telling him to step out and split these bags. That's a great bag still. It is. That bag was probably going to head towards the hole anyway. I think so, too. We are very close to 500 viewers. Kaylee, go over to the All Cornhole Facebook page and put your comment in there if you want to win. Can't do it on the ACL page. We have a wash on tens there. Score is going to stay 17 to 4. Allen will have the chance to throw first now. Four viewers away, Mike. Losers bracket final here in one of the two brackets in open doubles, tier one. Need to get there before this match ends because you know we always lose viewers between matches. We've hit 500. We're giving away some cornhole boards, Mike. Hallelujah. <laughs> Congratulations. And to somebody. Thank you for watching. We do so appreciate your support here. 
Now, the odds of this happening aren't that great, but I'm going to throw it out there. If sometime before the evening is over, we can get to 1,000, we'll give away another set. We sure will. Let's keep going. So, it's possible. Seventeen to six. Allen and Emery trying to get something cooking here. How are we looking in the other bracket? I was just checking that out. Jacob and Ryan are winning ten to eight over Easy and Tanner. Again, both the match you're watching and the one that Allison just mentioned are your second and third place matches. We're still climbing. If you're watching and commenting on the ACL Facebook page, you will not be entered to win free boards. You have to be watching and com Well, you can watch either one, but you have to comment on the All Cornhole live stream on the All Cornhole Facebook page to be entered. And remember the bag giveaway as well. ACL Open 3, the name of somebody in Cornhole that you found influential or still find influential. See a lot of cool names in there. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Your finals are set for this bracket. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain crawling back out of the loser's bracket. Who are they going to take on? Joe Neistad and Nico Morales. Who are the ones that knocked them down there in the first place. Yep, they are coming sitting up. in the king's seat. Got to be double dipped. All right, we're going to take a quick break. While we get that match set up, won't be gone too long. The players are all handy and nearby, so we'll get something started here real shortly. Thanks for tuning in. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court in just a moment. All right, Cornhole fans, welcome back to Triadelphia, West Virginia. We've got just a few more matches here to bring you. This is your Bracket B Finals. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain, Joe Neistat, Nico Miralis getting ready to get started. We've got the bag spin. We've got the knuckle tap. Joe and Nico coming into this from the king seat. They only need to win one match. Justin and Logan will need to get two wins to take down the bracket. 
These bags are live. First round. Nico, a couple points right away. Two to zero. Joe, nice blocker to start his part. He said, not an issue. I'm going to go <laughs> right around that. <laughs> not a problem. Does a good job going through that. Goodness, leaving two points on the board to tie the game. Do you see what's going on over here, Mike? The long toss. <laughs> Bags flying <laughs> all the way across the room. Those things always seem to break out. See if Logan can pick up some points here. Nico going up, hits the airmail. Answered there from Logan. Yeah, he follows him. See if he can do it again and hit it. Could be an and one if he hits Could it right. Could be. He, oh, he's going to miss it and give up one. Looked like he may have come in at a little lower trajectory, hoping for that and one. That's what it looked like. So our bracket finals are set in the other bracket. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano taking on Jacob Foreman and Ryan Wiedenfeld. Jacob and Ryan coming out of the loser's bracket will need to double dip. Fisher and Gavin, who only need to win one. So four teams left. We will bring you the championship here tonight. Winner of this match versus the winner of the match I just mentioned for all the marbles. Got some Joe and Nico fans in the comments. All right, so if you entered the contest, so we'll just go ahead and let you know. We'll be doing the drawings for those once our broadcast wraps up. It'll either be this evening or, or tomorrow morning we will post who the winners were. Again, to keep it fair, we'll be using a random comment picker. Five nothing your king seat holders right now, and that would be Mr. Morellis and Mr. Neistat. Uh, 
sweet airmail there. Yes, next we will bring you the final of the other bracket. Logan telling him to just go up the gut with a push. Exactly what he said. If he helped his bag a little bit, great. But more importantly, just go through the middle and put the bag in hand in the hole. Misfire there from Justin. Rare misfire. Now, eight to nothing in favor of Joe and Nico. Do you know what bags Joe and Nico are throwing? It looks like they're sponsored by Titan Bags, maybe, so I'm guessing that's what they are. It's what their jerseys say. Yeah, I believe they're Titan bags. I can't tell which ones they are, though. We'll see if we can get a clearer look. Logan trying to fire up Justin there. Big round. Eight to five now. <clears throat> These guys... Seem to play on a little more, bit more emotion than maybe Nico and Joe do. Someone in the comments saying they're Titan Devastators Blackout Edition. Blackout Edition. Okay, that's why. That's what they're saying. That's why I'm not recognizing it. Ooh, that could be some points there for Justin. Going up. Hits go. it. Back of the hole. Joe going up again. Doesn't go in, but doesn't go off either. So going for the and one, but he drags it instead. Joe needs to clean this up to hold it to three. And does. what a shot. Speaking of emotion, Joe lets us know how he feels about that. That was a phenomenal push. Still going to be a tie game now. Yeah, just to hold it to three, but big shot right there. We're now eight to eight. Now, now they're saying they're prowlers. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll get an authoritative <laughs> answer here in a minute. <laughs> Great roll there. That could be two points. On the other side, we do have some BG Wizards. That we know. We can read them from here. That That's going to be a wash. Wouldn't fall. Logan was a little disappointed looking at it like, what is wrong with you? There's a bit of an argument going on in the comments about these bags and what they are. I would simply just ask one of the two players, but they both have their earbuds in. And they do. That kind of means don't bother me. 
I think he wants him to go around it and leave his bag there in front. That's what he does. I love how excited Logan gets for every bag. Yeah, he's he's definitely wearing his emotions on his <laughs> sleeves. I mean, not not too much so. It's not like he's he's going nuts down there, but you can see yeah. how he feels about every yeah. shot. He just gets a little hype for his partner. Keep him up. <laughs> Someone said they could be Windsor bags. <laughs> I love that comment. And that's going to be a lead change, Mike. It is. Justin Logan taking the lead there, 10-8. <clears throat> Game of runs started out eight points in a row to start the game for Joe and Nico. Justin Logan with the last ten points. Nico with a bag out of play there, and now pretty much so is Logan. So they'll be even halfway through the frame here. Trying to hit that runway right down the middle. They got it set up pretty nice. Got the flashing lights pointing right towards the hole. Oh, oh no. and it doesn't work. Nico misses to the right. They're going to go up by two more, making it 12-8. 12-8, the loser bracket team. Again, Joe and Nico have to be double dipped. Yeah, loser bracket team trying to get step one accomplished. Joe's looking like maybe he's going to go up for this. I thought he might step out. <clears throat> he says, I can hit a back of the whole airmail, too. Go it. Oh, off the back. I think we've got an air show now as both players seem to be committed to airmails the rest of this round. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right Joe on tries, cue. Yeah, he tries to come in with a low push there. Just get over the gray bag. Push his black bag in. Doesn't quite get it done. Going up again and goes off. But he takes one of Joe's bags with him. Now are we going to see the airmail? Yeah. And that's off the back also. So, uh, that's a wash. Both players probably feeling a little relieved they didn't lose anything there. a good bag getting around. You got to give it to Justin and Logan. Falling behind eight to nothing here to the king seat holders. It would have been easy to fold up. That's going to be another wash. But they continued to battle on. Now hold the lead 12-8. They're on a 12-point run themselves. Big win earlier when they knocked out, well, knocked Matt and Brett Guy down into the loser's bracket. Falling behind 17-4. to four. Coming back to win that match. Showing a lot of resolve. And finishes up for his 12. A little harder push coming up for Joe to get to his 12. But he takes care of business. Great push there. We have a double four-bagger brought to you by Bet MGM Casino. 
Score stays 12 to 8. Both teams trying to tighten it up here. It's interesting here that neither Justin nor Logan wearing any earbuds at all. And Nico and Joe both wearing them. They, uh, Logan and Justin seem to talk a lot back and forth to they each do. other. They do. So they can't be listening to music. They got to listen to their partner. We have another double four bagger brought to you by Bed MGM <laughs> Casino. And buckle up, guys. It looks like points. They were kind of flying freely early in they this were. match, but uh, both now they've been locked for a while. Yeah, both teams tightening up. Reminder that it is Joe and Nico throwing from the king seat. But trailing four points here in the first game. Ooh, that could be points right there. What do you do here, Mike? Rolling over? I would push. Eh. Blocking it up? I would have thrown it short of the boards, what I would have done. <laughs> I'd hit the front if I was him. <laughs> you know, did you want the truth, or did you want what I would do if I was in their shoes? Look at that bag by Joe. His push is on point. He's going to finish with a 10. In for two points for Joe. And he's going to take them. Finally have some movement on the scoreboard. Stopped a 12-point run there from Justin and Logan. stacking here in round 17. Yeah, not a whole lot to talk about, except that bag right there to the right now. And that's going to be a lead change. Back to the, <clears throat> back to the story of the runs. Eight to nothing for Joe and Nico to start. 12-0 run for Justin and Logan. And now Joe and Nico back to a six-point run of their own. Oh, that one a little bit off to the right. Joe making sure he's not going after that bag yet. Step out, go slick side, take them all. Sounds so easy, right, Mike? Absolutely, it sounds easy. It's all about the execution, though. Not nearly as easy as it sounds. Now we find Justin all the way out on the edge of the carpet for a better angle at this bag. Just got the pinky toe on. Ew, he does a great job trying to grab that bag. It just doesn't want to go. You know, he's still got potentially an airmail drag shot here if he wants to get aggressive. In for a wash. Oh, no. He's going to go off. Give up three. 17-12. You're right. Logan wears his emotions on his sleeves. He really does. When that bag slid off, you knew it slid off. Even if you hadn't seen the bag, you could tell by his face what happened. When something good happens, you know that as well. <laughs> you don't have to look at the board. Just no. watch Logan. No, no. 
I think they're going to have to start manufacturing points here if they're going to get this game turned around. And we've seen them do that. But yeah, we we've have. We've seen them do that. Nico hit a little stretch, or he was a little shaky in the middle part of this game. But, wow, just All as right. I was getting ready to say he was dialed back in, he misses a bag. Oh, and Logan's bag just hangs up. We may be seeing a little bit of fatigue here as we get to the end of the day because both of those were unforced errors there on bag number four. Well, they are been playing for like 12 hours. Absolutely. They had a little bit of a break around lunchtime, but... There were 264 teams start this day. 264. I'm tired, and I hadn't even I haven't been throwing bags for 12 hours. <laughs> We're down to the final four here. I'll tell you what, this is interesting. Joe's in a good position. Oh, there it is. He owned the front right portion of that hole just like he needed to. I think you you have to go airmail here if you're Justin. You got to get those bags. You can't give up four. There he goes. And he hits he gets it one for of the them. Drag. That's yeah, that's a good bag right there. That's gonna keep him alive potentially. Oh. Now Joe opens the door. A drag could score some points. Logan looks at it carefully. Gives him the green light, I do believe. No, now he's saying go slick side into it. We're gonna see a slide here. That's going to be two. Joe and Nico throwing from the king seat now are just two points away from winning their bracket. Two brackets here today, so birth in the finals essentially is on the line here. Someone was asking if the other bracket final game is live anywhere. It is. If you look at Bella's mom's Facebook page, that's where it's at. Two points away for a bracket win for Joe and Nico. Bag has got to be in the hole. And it is. Nico just going right around that bag that Logan puts in front of his lane. Going after it, does a great job getting it in. Ooh, that could be out. All right, Logan has to be in here. He is. They are going to stay alive for another round. <laughs> 
24 rounds deep. It's a lot of cornhole, Mike. I like that block bag. Going up. Oh, that is risky. Joe going up. Hits it also. Justin up and off the back, and that could be the game right there. Joe going push and is able to get it. Justin is going to have to drag that bag on the board and take the one in his hand just to give up one and stay alive. And he is not able to, and that's going to be the game. Heck of a run from Justin Burton Jr., and Logan Chamberlain, though, heck of a run. Joe Neistat, Nico Morellis, the well-earned win there, though, will take down bracket B, and they will wait for the winner of bracket A. Update on that game. The score is 11-8 to eight in favor of Ryan Wiedenfeld and Jacob Foreman over Gavin Kano and Fisher Hamilton. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here, and we'll bring you the finals between Joe and Nico and the winner of Ryan Wiedenfeld, Jacob Foreman, and Gavin Kano and Fisher Hamilton as soon as we get back. Knock out, knock out. You better move, you might get 
Just a reminder, everyone, we are still here, and we are going to be bringing you the championship match as soon as it is set. The team that we just saw with the big win, Joe Niestet, Nico Morellis taking down their bracket. We'll take on the winner of Jacob Foreman, Ryan Wiedenfeld, and Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Kano. That is the other bracket final. Fisher and Gavin coming in out of the king seat. They are currently trailing 19 to 10. So Jacob Foreman, Ryan Wiedenfeld, two points away from forcing a game two over there. So we will be back here once that bracket is finalized with your overall finals here in just a few moments. I'm going to go back to break while we wait for that to be set up on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court.
All right, Cornhole fans, just to give you an update, we are waiting for the finals of bracket A to conclude. And it has just been pushed to game two. Jacob Foreman, Ryan Wiedenfeld, take down Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano, 22-13. They're getting ready to begin game two. When that game is finished, we will bring you the overall bracket, not the overall bracket finals, we will bring you the overall championship. Joe Neistat, Nico Morellis already took down bracket B here on the All Cornhole Broadcast Court. When broadcast A concludes, we will bring you the overall championship. Just one more game to go. Again, they're getting started with game two over there. Jacob Foreman, Ryan Wiedenfeld taking on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Kano. That is for all the marbles in bracket A. So stay tuned here. As soon as that match concludes, we'll be right back.
All right, Cornhole fans, thanks for sticking with us through the break. We now have your ACL Open 16 Open Doubles Tier 1 Championship Match Set. There's the bag spin. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain, Joe Niestet, Nico Mir... I'm reading the wrong screen. All right, now we're getting started. Uh, sorry about that. We uh, score zone has still got the previous match up there, and I was just being lazy reading score zone. <laughs> we got Gavin Cano. Been saying his name wrong. My apologies to Gavin. Gavin Cano, Logan Chamberlain, Joe Niestet, and Nico Mirless. These bags are live. Not Logan Chamberlain. It's been a long night. Fisher Hamilton. All right, we're back. I'm sorry about that. We had some microphone difficulties here and keeping us all askew. Tablet issues, internet issues. Yeah, we took a we took a 15 minute break waiting for this match, and everything fell apart. Fell apart. <laughs> I think we're including back on track my, now. Including my brain. I think we are back on track. All right, one match. Not best two out of three, no double dipping. The two bracket winners here. We are in the one and done bracket. Head one of to these, head. Yep, one of these teams will be first, and one of these teams will be second. And I was so worried about correcting Gavin Cano's name that I completely butchered who his opponent, who his <laughs> partner was. <laughs> and I was looking right at Logan Chamberlain. I meant to say Fisher Hamilton. <laughs> Gavin Cano, I appreciate the help on saying his last name. Gavin Cano, Fisher Hamilton, three to nothing lead on Joe Niestet and Nico Miralis here. Throwing devastators. That Titan is what they devastators are. were confirmed. Quick five nothing start here. It's so quiet in here. Absolutely. He's telling me to go after that bag and get it. The end of the night just slowed down and ground to a halt because every game was taking 40 minutes or more, it felt like. Yeah, they were, uh, especially when bracket A goes to game two. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Oh, rolled right over. Still going after that bag, not able to get it. Nico's going to pick up two points, making it 5-2. 
Gavin and Fisher still in the lead. Some really great performances by some names that maybe we've heard of but haven't come to expect quite yet. And I would put Fisher Hamilton and now Gavin Cano into that group. Logan Chamberlain, Justin Burton Jr., another couple. If you mm. don't know the names, you should and you will. Oh, yeah. Fisher looking to pick up some points here. That bag of Joe's is out of play. In for two. He's going to take him, making it 5-2. Gavin Fisher in the lead. 7-2 now. Ooh, he can sneak around for four. Doesn't really think about it much. He steps out and Ooh, fires. Going to pick up two. Gavin and Fisher are going to stay in the lead. The score now seven to four. You know what's kind of a shame is we made it through the entire day now. We've crowned our two bracket winners. They're playing in the championships, and we probably have like 24 people. And I'm not faulting anybody for leaving. I get it. But it's just a shame that they... They kind of deserve all the crowd and excitement. Well, there's like 700 people watching. Well, okay. <laughs> Hopefully the players <laughs> are here, Hopefully but... the players are channeling that. Great bag there by Joe. Way to get around those bags. See what Fisher does to clean up this mess. Oh, my gosh. Is it done? I, yeah, it's not going oh, anywhere. Oh, man. What a great bag. I can't believe that one hung <laughs> up like that. That was a great, I mean, textbook hit it right where you're supposed to. Gave that, that bag every chance to fall in the hole. Gavin and Fisher still up by one, but Nico and Joe are sneaking back in. I was tossing some bags while we were waiting for this match to you, start, and I got to say. Like, were you throwing them up in the air and catching them, no, or you were throwing them on the boards? I was throwing board? them on the boards. What? The boards were pretty sticky. Nico with a couple bags now. Out of play to the right. In for four. 11 to six now. Fisher Gavin in the lead. Cross the halfway point. Ten points for them to win. I'll reiterate what a difficult decision the ACL is going to have no matter how things shake out the rest of the year at Worlds as far as the juniors next year and the U18s. Yeah, I don't envy anyone that has to look at that list. I mean, but I think, are they even going to have to make any decisions? Because I think there's going to have to be some decisions. If they're qualified. There's going to have to be some decisions. It depends on who finishes where, how many slots are left that'll come down to. I think that they're going to 
I think that there's going to be eight that qualify. They're open in pro standings. You think so? I think so. I hope you're right. I hope it doesn't have to come down to any decisions. I hope. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. That would be rough. There will be eight U18s next year. That's what we're referring to in the ACL Pro Division. What did we say the BG bags are? I thought they were Vikings. I don't. I know we talked about it, but I've seen so many bags since we talked about it. Right. That shot got Fisher excited. <laughs> I think you just got to try and go with those bags. Yep, he is. And he does. Executed perfectly. He's Fisher's calling for a block. Gavin able to put that up. Nico going airmail. Yep. And hits it clean for two. <laughs> Going to make it 11-8 with Fisher and Gavin still in the lead. Clean as a whistle. Crowd starting to get into it. What they make up for numbers here, they're making up for in excitement. Joe goes up for the airmail first. Now let's see what Fisher does. Joe's off the back. Fisher gives himself a pep talk, steps back up to the line. Goes low, hard push. Great shot. Pushes a bag in the hole and still maintains hole control with two of his bags. So in open standings, how many they take the top? How many in open standings? I don't remember off the top of my head. It's too late at night. <laughs> Fisher currently sitting at number 36. How what did that another bag stay on good, the board? hard push. It's going to take him to 18, 18 to 8. Gavin wow. and Fisher in the lead. What a frame there. Two great hard pushes from Fisher Hamilton. Those bags came in like bullets. They are now three points away from taking down ACL Open number 16, the last ACL Open of the season. Put a cap in doubles. Singles will come tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. He gave it right back. He's going after that bag. Yeah, all the way out, just on barely on the edge of the mat. Maximizing the angle. Does a great job of pulling it back towards the hole. Nico helps pull it into the hole. He can clean it up and get at least two here. Not able to clean it up. And Nico... Sneaks in for two. Good bag for Nico. They fight back. 18 to 10 now. Point out that uh, out of all the ACL pros, out of all the ACL pro teams that were here today, we have a Rookie ACL pro team and a non-pro team here in the bracket final, or the overall finals. A rookie team. Joe Neese said he, he's a rookie this year. Is he? I didn't think that he was. <laughs> Am I making you second-guess? Now I'm second-guessing myself. 
I've been wrong so many times this evening. It's it's late. Strong finish. Score will stay 18 to 10. Nico with first throw. He said you are right, rookies. But didn't you say rookies? I was and the one I said that said not. rookies, yeah. <laughs> Nico with a bag off the back now is in deep trouble. Oh, followed by Gavin. Gonna be two more. 18 to 12. They're creeping back. They're not giving us anything to talk about, Mike. No. They're just stacking bags. There we go. In for two and to put them on 20. One point away from winning this open. I like the, first, the block bag. That's why. All right. Gavin Cano holds the game in his hands. Four bagger for the win. Ooh. Nico goes blocker. Look, he thought the game. <laughs> everybody's like, brain over everybody's brain is just not quite on 100 percent <laughs> right now and he is that in for will the do win. it congratulations fisher hamilton gavin cano taking the win what a performance. Joe Neistat, Nico Morellis, great run. They take down their bracket but fall in the overall championship to Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. Congratulations to them. We are going to shut it down for the evening. We will be back tomorrow with some singles action here at the last ACL Open of the year here out of Triadelphia, West Virginia. All right, tune in to the All Cornhole Broadcast Court tomorrow, and we will see you then. Thanks for tuning in.